Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Saturday. Very happy to be here for some more Slice and Dice 3.0, playing on the Steam version. Got a little patch today even. Nothing too major, just a few bug fixes. Hey there, Calendar Man. What's up to Famatory, Finnick, SWE, Pojo Dan. Hey there, Spambo Jambo, Tharson, and all the other cool early people. Hey there, Squanchy. Good OC Warrior. And all the rest. Yo, before we get clicked in here, Pojo Dan, thanks for 41 months. And Finnick, SWE, thanks for Tier 2, 106. Enjoy that lurk. Okay, we're going to play some unfair mode today. We're just going to go for basic setup until we get our first win here. Okay, so we have... We have to choose 10 curse here. 10 curse. Every third dice you use each turn gains... Does this put us at minus 3 if we take this? So that... Two times if I'm dying this turn. I mean, why is this bad? I guess that's a blessing in a way. So we need four and three. Or maybe we... Oh, no. Okay. Okay. So this actually does go against. So the purple number is curse. This is blessing. So green's positive. Got it. Okay. So, um... Add rat seems not bad. Need two, four, four. Slow spells. Maximum three spells cast per turn. That's not bad. Oh, yeah. This right here, worst item quality. Uh, me and my wife did a run yesterday on Unfair um, on the big screen. And <laughs> it was minus three. And we're like, oh, it's just going to be a bunch of tier zero items. No, there are negative cursed items. Uh, it was brutal. Yo, Hobbs the Tiger. Thanks for 139 months. Enjoy that lurk. Thank you. This is tough. And sticky to top and bottom sides pretty brutal. I kind of just want to go for add rat, add wolf. And I guess shield response. It's so much extra HP. But I guess later on, one rat, one wolf is not the worst thing that could happen. I mean, there are some advantages. Well, let's try it out and see what happens. We're at 10 out of 10 now. The only other option would be to go over here and go on sticky fingers instead. Or like this. But, um... I think that's the one. All right, shield response, add wolf, add rat. That's what we're doing. Look at all that damages. Okay, clumsy. Here's the thing, bud. Let's take a look at our dice here. Two mana's best side. All right. What is this? One damage all. That's pretty nice here. Okay, we do have possibility for cleave with clumsy. That's nice. How about buckle? Yeah, I think damage is pretty important. Okay, we got damage again. Clumsy's gonna hurt themselves, apparently. Alright, well, this is pretty sweet. We can take out two bees here. So if we go like this, and then hit like here. Is this only up and down? What's up with that? Both sides of the target. That actually hit both sides? Did. Um, okay. So I think I, I like this. Oh, right. Armor. I get it now. That's why the damage didn't happen. I guess we'll save slice for next round then. Could also burst, but Slice is going to be our best damage potential. 
So let's uh let's let it ride here. Chomp chomp. Hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna take the cleave while we can see it. Alright, so this bee is going for it. I guess we can just cleave the the bees again here. And then use burst on this one. Maybe save with that. I think buckle uh, two block is going to be best. Uh, I do think that... Where did this side come from? Oh, well, that's Gardener. Yeah, it's not bad. It is mana gain. I'm going to roll. Okay, I'll take it this time. I'm also going to take this. Three damage sounds good. Okay, so to open here, we're going to hit like this. Or maybe perhaps... We start... Here? And then hit like this. Oh, they get the second one there. Hmm. Fair. I think we have some good options here. It looks like we're going to be bursting this B. Is that that saves uh that saves buckle. We can use this block on clumsy to save clumsy. Uh if this wolf dies, then we're fine. So, I think that's it as long as we're killing this B. And this wolf, everybody lives this round. Yo, Fell Fusion, thanks so much for making it official with Prime. Appreciate that. Enjoy the Emos community and ad free viewing. Very happy to have you. Cheers. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to hit for three here. And then I'm going to. I guess Slice isn't really worth it with the AoE. We'd be better off just going burst, burst, or burst, burst. I mean, all in all, it looks pretty good. I'm going to take that turn. Uh, one thing I don't like about this, um, I'm going to use the block on Clumsy. Clumsy has this side where they do self-damage, two sides for self-damage, so keeping them a little bit higher is uh, reasonable. There it is. Would have died. Okay, well, one thing I'm seeing is these two save the two characters right now, so that's tempting. Uh, this takes the rat out of the equation, which just saves the student. So, with that being said, we only need to save the gardener. Let's try to take a hit here. I'm also going to pull this off, because I don't want the clumsy to take any more uh, self-damage. That's very interesting. I think we double hammer here. Double hammer, burst the rat. Lock on gardener. Alright, cool. You know, that last turn there was a slightly better way to do that. I could have removed the block on the wolf and then hit for two on the hammer. So the wolf could have had one less HP here. Alright. Uh, I'm... I really like Jester, but to get lazy off of anything that's not lazy, lazy has only two sides, uh, three shield, three damage. So Brood is looking um, divine. Let's uh, let's brood it up here. All right, nobody's dying opening round. That's cool. 
Well, now clumsy is, but, you know. All right, if I take Hammer here, I have to hit the Boar. That's fine. I'm going to take the four block as well. Uh, this does give growth on all sides, so that we can use that to heal clumsy. I do worry about damage right now a lot. Um, let's go ahead and hit a rat here so we can at least get a burst next round, potentially. Yoinks. I think I should have been a little more aggressive with my estimation here. Okay, well, three three mana is going to be pretty hard to pass up. Uh, this currently hits Wolf. Or three. It's tough. Can take the boar out here, but the boar's hitting, uh, what? Hitting student and clumsy, which are not dying here. Mm. I'm going to roll. Okay, well, that's good-ish. I should probably take this and hope for the best. That wasn't bad. Okay, so... I can kill the wolf here, and then we can also kill the rat. Let's see what this looks like. One really cool thing about this game is you can just try stuff out. There's no uh, no downside. You can always undo all your turn if you want. Okay, so that still leaves a student lacking here. Seems like it's going to be really difficult to get that. Maybe I accept the... Gardener dying here. I think somebody dies no matter what. Is, uh, I guess, the point I'm getting around to. Okay, we're going to, like, burst here. Oh, I see the hammer has to hit on the wolf right now. Indeed. Okay. Yeah, I guess Buckle's dying this round, and I'm okay with that. Keeping Student Gardener alive seems good. We also might be able to set up having the Goblin flee this round, which would be ideal. Listen here, Clumsy. Yeah, I think we just have to do that. Alright, three mana, three damage. It has to hit Goblin, though. That's rude. Let's look for something else. Okay, that's good. So that kills either wolf or uh, rat here. Okay, Clumsy's dying to the rat. Student's dying to the wolf and the goblin. Brute is not dying to the boar. So we could choose to ignore the, uh, the boar here. Okay, what if I hit the wolf here, and then we cleave like this? And then we burst here and block here, not quite.
I mean, definitely can take out the boar, but then a second character dies, which is going to be part of playing on Unfair, but we're going to have some deaths. What does Slice look like here? Not very good, because they get armored. Alright, I believe that accepting the student death is probably the way it's going to go. Um, with the extra adds on every fight, it's just going to be really tough. Playing unfair is definitely unfair. There's almost a way here. If only this boar had one less health. Oh, here we go. We got it. Get him, got him, good. Replace the left side of the hero above's base side. Minus one pip to the five right sides. Okay. Immune to shields, plus two max HP. That's acceptable, I guess. Um, I might put this on clumsy for now. That is a lot of bees, my friend. Okay. Buckle is not full health, so it's not a full heal. Alright, two damage, but has to go on wolf. It's a little tough. Let's look for other damage. Okay, there's a damage. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is a really rough opener. I don't think we can save either here. Well, we can save Buckle or Gardner. I guess we just keep Gardner up. That's how we got to do it. Might as well heal one on Clumsy here. Heal is not bad. I think we need the two mana side in order to stand a chance here, though. Okay. Here we go. Come on, mana. Ouch. I do declare, I think that's going to be uh, probably about it here. Maybe should have kept the heal on Gardener. Yes, this is part of the in-game soundtrack. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Good try. Let's try it again. Keep at uh, basic here. First turn, all monsters minus one pipped all sides. That's a blessing. So we'd have to take everything else, basically. Replace middle side with blank. That seems okay. Not good, but... Is the scoundrel one workable side? Okay. Top and bottom heroes, two times the incoming damage if gained no shields. Oh yeah, okay, must be equipped upon death, summon a wolf permanent item. That's only one. I mean, it looks like we're taking seven and three here, so shield response, self-shield two? Wow, that's tough. Double the pips of all sides with seven or more pips. That's crazy versus bosses. I think we're going to take slow spells, maximum of two spells cast per turn. That does limit our composition, but does um, you know, gives us chances. So the other one would be take mid-blank, slow spells, and track together. 
I think that might actually be uh, more reliable than the um, shield response. Shield response two is is crazy. Like every time we hit something against two armor, that's uh, pretty tough to DPS stuff down. At least with mid blank, we can replace that side with um, you know items and stuff. Yeah, let's try a six three one here. We're going to take track, which we have to equip. If that person dies, we summon a uh, a wolf. That's pretty bad. Uh, maximum two spells cast per turn, and all heroes have middle blank side. Who has the most HP here? Hoarder. All right, bud. What does this do? If this is lethal, I die. Well, it's not lethal, so there's that. All right, Wallop can stun the goblin here. That is uh, damage. Can also stun the boar, potentially. Might be better. Free heal with vitality. Let's do that on Scoundrel. Fair enough. That's an opener. Uh, we'll put it on Hoarder, because they have that, uh, you know, summon wolf on death. I mean, it does appear the Prodigy is wearing sunglasses, yes. Alright, single use, two damage, I'll take that. Okay, mana is fine, that's really one of the best sides we can get. One damage all, Okay. What does Scorch do? One damage cleave, okay. Okay, this is fine, but I need another source of damage afterwards. I guess Wallop does stop the boar from hitting. And potentially the goblin if we need it, so I'm going to keep that stun. Three mana, let's go. Alright, so that's the kill right there. Goblin flees if alone. Uh, spells are not random, no. They're usually associated with character classes, and you start with burst in every run unless you uh, have a curse, which removes it. I don't know. Warden's kind of Mr. Consistency here. Copycat is less useful right now. We actually have pretty bad sides for Copycat. The only good one would be... Um, well, that's not even it. Yeah, Warden it is here. At least it has damage sides. Okay, one damage to all here, and then Cleave kills all three bees. That's really nice. Uh, then an Archer will be dead as well, and if we roll damage here, we've cleared round one. Not quite. Actually, yes, we did clear round one here. So we're going to one damage all. We're going to Scorch Cleave right here. Oh, I see. Not quite clear all, but close. He's going to be running after his hit. Later, Tater. What's the question mark? Oh, okay, I think there's an unlock associated with letting stuff run. Thorn, I haven't fought Thorns yet. Alright, extra monster archer for sorcery notes. Replace the two left sides with... Plus one mana, cantrip, and blank. Yeah, it was already blank, so we just get a left side cantrip. It's interesting. I'm going to accept this because we need to take some challenges anyways. Who wants the sorcery notes right now? Maybe nobody wants the notes. I guess this is okay. We'll give it a shot. I just think generating damage is pretty important. Ooh. Yes. Quiver is so good right now for uh, Scoundrel, especially. 
Scoundrel or Prodigy is also fine, but... Big upgrade there. Okay, what's your deal? Okay, we need to use uh, the arrows to kill the thorn. There's no way around it. I guess we could warden it down uh, on hit, uh, hit attacker for five. This is acceptable. Okay, who's hitting Prodigy? Wolf, Rat. We take the... We hit the kill the Rat here is not even quite enough. So maybe we're looking at killing Wolf this round. Definitely not going to whirl here. I'd love to, but it's going to take five return damage and then kill the Scoundrel. Okay, that's good. All right, I think Prodigy might just die here. I don't really see a way out of it. We don't have quite enough damage to stop. Almost, though. Okay, well, I'm going to hit here so we can get him next round. And then we'll hit and hit and mana. Tough but fair. Later, Prodigy. Boing. Okay, this kills off the thorn, so we're there. Who's attacking the Acolyte? The rat is, so we can stop the death on the Acolyte with this. You know, another Monocyte's fine. Heal one to all allies, huh? Alright, let's bippity bop that thorns. Uh, let's hit the rat. And then we'll burst the wolf. Looking good. go. Alright, Spellblade or Seer. Seer is a definite improvement to Prodigy, so it gives us two more mana sides. Spellblade, not bad either. Plus one pip to targets damage sides this turn. That is pretty flexible. I think Foretell is also a little bit unlikely here, but um, the Scoundrel got fixed up with that Quiver, so I'm going to take the Seer. And then maybe, uh, maybe he gets the cantrip. Sure. Okay, not a huge rush in the troll fight. Let's, uh, let's block and heal the seer so we're feeling a little better. Okay, that's good. Well, three damage is worth doing. And then we can foretell, so we have four mana next turn. Big hits. That's about as good as Acolyte can do, other than the big heal. Alright, damage is damage, damage is damage. That saves the Acolyte, I'm down. All right, so we can foretell here. Save the Acolyte. And I don't need to restore yet, so I'm going to wait. Okay, Hoarder under no circumstances can die here. Go ahead and grab the heal. All right, Mana Cantrip, love it. That's pretty wicked. Alright, so we're going to heal Hoarder here. Go Burst. Restore. Oh, we can only do two spells per turn. That's right. 
Okay, that's fine. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to lose mana this way. I didn't realize that. Now I do. Maybe I don't even use this if we're going to have it drop off. The two spells per turn is one of the current curses that we chose. Unfair requires you to take 10 value worth of curse. Damage is damage. That's great. Okay. Definitely don't want to die here. Okay, so two damage, one damage. Puts us two damage away from killing. We only have the Seer side to get that, or the Cantrip plus here. I guess Hoarder can roll two damage on three different sides. I'm going to roll it. There it is. We're good. Okay, Static Tome. Replace the top and bottom sides with plus one mana pair. Two times this has the same pips as previous. Bless Water. Replace the middle side with Heal free, 3 Vitality. Well, Heal 3 Vitality is very tempting because we have the empty middle side, so this fix is part of our curse. Blessed water it is. Let's put that on... Acolyte? May I put that on a hoarder, actually? Okay, well, spin here is real good. So if we can kill the barrel here first without whirling, then we can kill the quartz. It does five damage to each side, so only the slate would remain. Maybe in that case we uh, we roll for the non-AoE to make sure that this dies when the barrel goes. So one mana looks pretty good. I'm gonna roll. Okay, does this have to hit? No, this is exert. Interesting. Okay, well, this is fine. The damage we needed. So we can go uh, two, two. Oh, okay. I misunderstood the amount of HP. Fair enough. Still a very nice opener. Yo, if any, thanks for 44 months. Thank you. Uh, that's it. Got four mana here. We go burst, burst, blammo. Boom, get roasted. Medic definitely doesn't look bad here. What's Medic's spell? Set a hero to 4 HP, that's nice. I also very much like Juggler, but... Um, without the middle set, we might even just put Quiver on Juggler and have the 2 mana Contrip side and other... I guess it's an HP value increase at the very least. Hmm. 
I think juggler is it, but we keep the quiver. We can remove the negative side in the juggler and uh, get comparable damage. I also do think that uh, medic sounds nice with the heal cleave and the uh, regeneration. That's tough. I think juggler is better than scoundrel versus acolyte versus medic. What's this? Quiver, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. So some of our very first unfair runs to tech guy, the game's only been out for like three days on Steam, so um, no, we do not have an unfair win streak going. Nor am I trying for win streaks, period. Or will I be? Okay, this have cleanse. Probably cleansing the hoarder's poison here, unless we can take out the snake. Heal three vitality is interesting, but damage is better. All right. Oh, well, that's it. at least kills the snake here. Ooh, nice. Well, if the snake dies, then the cleanse is less valuable. We can also kill the militia here if we wanted to. Yo, Athene, thanks for 44 months. Thank you. I don't know, I think I'm going to kill the Militia and uh, take out the Snake next round. We go like two, two, one, two. Do the heal here. Uh, the only reason I kind of hesitate on this is we do take a lot of damage on Hoarder, and if Hoarder dies, a wolf is summoned, and that is uh, troubling. Uh, Unger follow. try messing with your uh, UI scale. I was playing on iOS last night, and the UI is definitely different. Um, but I think this button right here will sort you out. Or maybe something in the options here, but... Yeah, okay. Let's check it out the other way if we kill the snake. Nah, sure. Okay, I'm going to foretell here to get four mana next turn. I was considering bursting the Acolyte to get him a little higher, but... Yeah, I did the old uh, airplay on my TV last night with my wife with the uh, the iOS version. It was awesome. We had a good time with it. Okay, well, two, two, and two kills the bandit. Ooh, hell yeah. All right, well, this fight's basically cinch now. Oh, he's only doing one poison? Okay, I take this back. Not the rolls, but we're gonna go like this instead. Yeah, the game's been on Android for years now. Just, uh, iOS and Steam are the new versions. We'll say with the release of that, there is a really massive content update as well. Uh, two, two, and two finishes it off here, so we're good. Three of a kind, add trio to the rightmost side. Three times this has the same pips as the two previous, uh, dice this turn. Ladder, replace the middle side with the hero above's base side. Okay, um, 
I'm a little curious how ladder works. Uh, we do have this curse which removes the middle side, but does this overwrite it since it's base side? If I had to guess, I would say that ladder isn't going to work because it uh, is going to take the blank side. But there is the potential here that it could take the whatever the hero's actual base is and copy it onto the middle side, which allows us to have one more uh, middle filled. Well, I think three of a kind's better for this run, but I'm going to try ladder just to see how it interacts with this curse. So, hero above. You want something on Seer, Acolyte, or Warden? Uh, let's see here. Okay, it works. It works. Hmm. Mana, three block, or two damage heavy. I don't know, I'm leaning towards Mana here. I'd say the Seer is our weakest character currently. Okay, well, three Mana is not wrong. I guess, I guess we can roll for multi-damage on this. It's always going to be damage on jugglers, so we can fish for the cantrip. I think damage on the warden sounds nice here, too. If we can do just a bunch of damage to the slimer this round, that'd be great. Um, We could very technically kill the slimer and the adds this turn, or maybe we could just take out the ogre. That'd be best. All right, so we have two, two, and two for six, plus an additional four is ten. So we are taking out the ogre with this. Uh, let's take this. Cool. Two damage. Uh, you know, blocking on the warden's tempting, but we should just be able to slam out a kill here if things go well. That, that definitely went good. Sarcophagus. All right, gladiator or priestess. Heal one to all allies. Heal one mana gain. Pray. Heal and shield one to all dying allies. Deplete. Pray's pretty nice. Gladiator is also pretty good. I, I'm tempted to take Gladiator here just because this attack can kill a null right away. I also think the middle side is very good on Gladiator, so we maybe get a better pip. Well, I will say Priest is, is a pretty large improvement to Acolyte, though. I don't know. Horror is pretty terrible. Let's go ahead and go Gladiator. Let's mess with this uh, ladder here. So Hero above is... We wanted a Warden? Yeah, okay. So we get a 1 damage engage side on Warden. That's great. Three blocks still on mine. I want this engage. What about you? Ooh, okay, okay. Two damage can trip is probably actually the best here. That's nice. Yes, but have you considered not chomping me so hard? Thanks. All right, this kills a null. 
Three mana is our best side. Four blocks saves the seer. All right, so Sarcophagus reads, if I, I flee at the end of turn three and drop a tier three through five item if defeated. Um, I've only defeated Sarcophagus once. It's, uh, it's a tough fight to actually get the win on. Okay, cool. Or are we taking out the other knoll? I think we're taking out this knoll. Mm -hmm. Or tell. All right, this takes out the knoll at least. And we can definitely save the juggler too. Let's uh, roll this again. Uh, Semi tempted to roll here as well. Like the cantrips would be pretty spicy. Let's keep cantrips uh, uh, open here. Okay. Still fine here. Okay, foretell. Okay, that's good. If we can get more cantrips like that, there is the possibility of getting the kill here. It's not likely, but uh, I could see it happening. Okay, there's two damage. Or here's two damage here. So we'd need 12 damage total in order to kill here. This also saves the gladiator, so I'm tempted to take that. It's 2, 4, we got 6, 8, 9 right now. So I do need more cantrip in order to get a kill here. Regardless, we're going to be able to save this, so uh, it's good. Is there any point in taking the three mana side? No. If we could cast more than two spells, that'd be different. Okay, well, Sarcophagus is getting away, but we survived the fight, so that's awesome. Yo, Fast as Panda, thanks for 119 months. Appreciate that. Add single use and cantrip to all mana slash mana gain sides. Okay. Interesting. Ink bottle replace blank sides with shield one cantrip. We'll probably ink bottle then because it frees up the middle. We can just drop this on C right now to good effect. And apparently I unequipped this, which is a mistake. Yes. Okay, we've done a decent job of working around the middle blank um, curse right now. Plus one item quality, minus one offered item. That probably would have been better to take before um, getting the item there. You know what? I accept. We gotta accept some of these for achievements, anyways. That's a blurst event. Yo, fast as panda. Thanks for 119 again. And Funky Gornilla, thanks so much for 62. Cheers. Boy, there's some stuff happening here. Well, let's take the four block at a minimum here. That's uh, Warden's best side. Uh, not, not opposed to taking uh, here either. I mean, the truth is we're going to be able to kill the bones uh, here. So, Gladiator's going to live off of that. I'd still like to have the block on Gladiator 2. Let's just take this, and we'll roll the other sides, or more mana, or whatever. Uh, Cleanse is actually somewhat useful with Carrier here. Let's go ahead and do that. Nice. Nice. 
cleanse the warden. Let's go for three block here, one block here. And I'm going to hit... Yeah, I guess the sniper, because there's a chance to kill it next round. Yo, Valu88, thanks for 113 months. 113. Legend. Okay. So this takes out the sniper hitting for 5. So that, that fixes the seer. Uh, I probably should roll for the cantrip on the juggler, but I like the idea of this just straight up saving it. Engage side on the gladiators, all right. Let's also take this vitality heal so that uh, Seer and Acolyter save this round, and then we'll roll. Yo, good day, Relic Killer. What's happening, man? Yeah. I should have locked that two damage, indeed. All right, you're down. Nah, shot. You're healed. Uh, we'll block here too and foretell. Yo, Relic Killer, thanks for 125 months. A quarter to 500, he says. That's so true, man. That's so true. Foretell, you spend three mana, then you get four mana next turn. We're looking good here. Oh, yeah. What's this? All right, Fey or Disciple? I am a pretty decent fan of both of these. I like Disciple the fact they can revive an ally. Replace blank sides with heal and shield to this turn. Mm. Definitely interesting. If we uh, take Fey here, we could also make the Seer's middle side... Pretty good there. I don't know. I'm going to take Disciple here. I also believe I haven't taken Disciple. Let's see if that was true. What do these unlock for? 100 deaths. Dabbler picked twice. All right. Well, that's easy. I love Dabbler. So, Enchanter, Wraith, or the Reds we haven't picked yet. We've picked all the blues. Uh, definitely some greens we haven't seen. All right, so there's two oranges left to unlock with achievements. Uh, we have Enchanter and Wraith to pick yet. Fair. What's this? Reroll the class of Warden. I'm going to say no on this one. I like, I like what the Warden is doing right now. Okay, let's figure out what Disciple's base site was. So we'd put this on Seer to look. Okay, it's heal, heal two double use. That's not that much of a loss, actually. Okay, here we go. Hand trip on Spiker could definitely hurt here. Let's keep rolling, though. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, it hurt, but... Could be worse. I think I'm gonna take this, uh, over this heal 3 on the Gladiator, because it's not unlikely that happens again. Alright, block 2, hit 2 is also nice. My priority right now is taking out the Slimer. Well, I guess the Gladiator is just cool then. Let's go ahead and 
or tell. Get a little more mana next turn. That is quite the hit you got incoming there on the uh, juggler, bud. Okay, well, we're taking out Slimer's hitting for two, so we just have to block on the juggler, which we have the mana to do right now. It'd be double burst. If we do double burst, there's no point in taking the mana this round. That's actually not true. We can hold it for next round. I'm going to lock that. Uh, I'm going to take the gladiator hit, which is two damage here. This kills the Slimer. And let's also lock this so we can hit the spiker and not accidentally cantrips it. Double use heal too. Awesome. That's a wombo. Okay, with that I only need to burst once on juggler. So we go... Burst and... Burst and foretell. Okay. We can take this so we don't actually can trips ourselves to death. Mana's not really worth it at the moment. I don't think a heal is necessarily bad, though. This technically blocks the damage incoming. Or blocks the return damage, rather. That's nice. There's the kill right there. We did it. Add right and plus one pip to the middle side. Plus one for each unused ally. Plus one for each unused ally. They become used. Okay, so you can do a big nuke with this, but it uses up the remaining hero's dice. Probably put that on, like, Juggler right now, just to get a, a big, um, possible ranged attack. I think so. Not bad here on the Engage, either. I mean, definitely something. Kind of like it better on the the ranged here. Yo, Gizmo is scary. Thanks so much for 117 months. Much appreciation. Thank you. It is a tough opener for sure. Alright, zombies hitting red, yellow, and gray. Killing zombie only saves the disciple. Definitely a decent argument here that uh, this saves a hero. I think we need some cantrip hits here. Okay, this kills the zombie outright. That's good. Can also kill the imp to save the juggler here, and this saves the seer. So we've at least saved everybody uh, here 
with this. That's unfortunate roll, but fair. I think I would like to take the zombie out. The imp dealing that much damage is also super annoying, so what does this look like? It does keep the juggler full. Not uninteresting. This imp's gonna die either way, though, so... Um, this kind of feels nice here. Might be doing some glow on this next one if we get some empty dice. All right, well, the Fnatic only has four HP. Let's lock this double. And the red's not getting hit that hard. Let's roll it. Cantrips, please. There's one. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I think this works. So this is how much damage right now? Six damage plus four. So let's just play this out real quick. If I use this and I use this and I burst, it's still four damage, right? Yeah. Boom, get roasted. I've right, got Witch here, heal three cleave, plus three mana. Heal two for one. We didn't have uh, limited spells. That'd be nice. Okay, one damage weaken. Or stalwart. I do like having the cleanse on the shield here. Uh, we could also technically give disciple uh, cleanse instead of this cantrip as well on gladiator. Though I'd say the cantrip's been useful so far and definitely going to be useful on this lich fight. Well, that's tough. Stalwart does stop a lot of damage. I'd say Stalwart is... Basically a direct continuation of Warden, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. Okay, so the person above Stalwart is Disciple here, so if we move the ladder to this side, what does this look like? Is this three block cleanse? Well, for this fight at least, the Gladiator having cantrips is important. This is the 12th of 20 floors you can see right here, Icy Wolf. Shows up in between every fight. So we're a little over halfway. Yeah, that's definitely not bad. This kills a, a Bones outright. We do lose a uh, cantrip chances with that. This is also very interesting, so we could double kill Bones. I think I am going to take that. This block does stop 5 damage. That's pretty good. 3 mana, also great. Okay. So, if we hit here... And go here. And then we cleave block... Oh, I see that took the one out on the juggler. Let's back this up a little bit. So this is the one hitting the juggler. This one's hitting Stalwart. This one's hitting Seer. So the one we want to take out is this one. In fact.
Fortel. Pretty good opener there. Again, a pretty good uh, Stalwart hit. Yeah, it blocks four damage. It seems worthwhile. What's this pip here? Petrified to two sides incoming. That's fine. We can always use Glow to overcome a lot of petrification problems. Um, yeah, we're not going to do better than this. Problem is right now, if I get more mana, which is the only thing really available on Seer, uh, we're going to be over. I guess I can live with. I'm not going to take this three, though. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to go for the outside bones here. You know what the hell? Let's go. Let's go all the way here. We're gonna be over on mana, and that's fine. Nobody took any damage. Just sweet. All right, summon two bones incoming. That's fine. I feel like we're already kind of over the uh, the main hurdle here. Gonna fish for damage. Okay, should probably lock this, since we have two petrified sides there. Don't need any block. Should go for damages. Okay. Awesome hit there. Keep it coming. Wow, awesome. Okay, so on this turn... Maybe I'm just going to double burst here. We've got two here, and two here, and then two here. I don't know, maybe I just leave this bones active. I mean, it's going to be an easy kill next round. We can just pop like this and then foretell. Allow us to get more damage on the other bones. All right, petrifying coming, fair, fair. Uh, this isn't the worst round to be taking. Taking petrification, because we can glow to make them all heal to shield to. That'd be more desirable if we already had some damage out. Okay, that's good. This is also good. I think I'm just going to take the damage here, for safety's sake. You know, block three cleanse sounds pretty desirable, too. All right. All right, two damage here. Yeah, I'm going to accept the two damage on Seer here to do uh, four damage on this. Nice. All right, there's one damage. Let's roll it. Oh, 
Okay, just need one more source of damage then. There it is. That lich fight went really good. Ooh, a mushroom. Plus one all sides, but with the K. This goes on juggler, so we're getting uh, better ranged hits across. Not bad on disciple. Honestly, not bad on steer either with the cantrip rolls. What does this do? Monic growth. Okay. Yes, cleanse does get rid of petrify. Hmm. Maybe it is going on seer here. I think it is. Other option would be to remove the dumbbell, but if I remove the dumbbell, it's like what um Where do I put this? Okay, so I probably do still want the two block. I think these are better proccing early than later. Okay, looks good. Okay, I'm going to lock this for the alpha. Damage out this turn is not so bad. Um, I think I'm going to take the block to hit the juggler, potentially. Two mana is great. Fair enough. Pretty good damage reduction. Might as well. Let's hit the alpha here. Let's mana up and uh, hope for the best. Now to go for sniper or alpha. I think we hard focus the alpha to start this. Alright, the ogre did just get to a better damage threshold, which is tough. This saves the gladiator at least, so let's take that at a minimum. Okay, four mana's definitely good. This is heal to double use. That's not very good at the moment. That's nice. This is also nice. Wow. How much damage is this doing right now? Six. Not nothing. I guess the big hit here is from the alpha. If we take the alpha down, we're probably okay. Okay, so we can still use Stalwart once without uh, removing the value here. I think Sniper looks pretty good too, but let's, let's kill the thing that can summon more units. Okay, engage here does four damage to the wolf, so that's nice. This is also just massive damage. We can take the ogre out here. I think taking the ogre out here basically wins it. It also saves the um, saves the tower, so that's going to be the play.
Four more mana, it looks good, but we can only cast two spells here, so we're basically over exerted on mana as is. Okay, well, he's dead next round for sure, because we have uh, six mana. We only have three health. Okay. Sharp Shot's nice, but I'm liking how Juggler's performing with these items. So I'm definitely leaning towards Leader which can use Smith to boost other stuff, reuse dice, which could be sick too. Well, how good's kind of a loaded question, Mr. Mindless, but I'd say that foretell while diminished by having only two spells, it's never bad to have things that allow you to have more resource. but how good's basically asking for a comparative value versus all other skills, which I have no idea. I will say, I think Fortel's been quite useful this run. Okay, what is the leader's middle here? Loaded questions maybe a little bit harsh, that's not really what I meant. Just uh, maybe impossible question would be uh, the more correct term. Loaded implies some kind of maliciousness, which there obviously was none there. Okay, um... Dang. Well, I would love to kill a Kaw egg, so I guess this is it. We could use one dice and still kill the other Kaw eggs. We can use two dice and still use the other, uh, other one. I'm liking the idea, too, of just nuking the ghost out, but uh, with the nuking the ghost play, uh, that becomes difficult. I think our best call right now is to kill the two eggs that are going to summon Kaz, because uh, Ka is like a eight damage or eight health enemy that does a lot of damage and goes to the back row. So if we don't kill these eggs this round, then it's going to summon Kaz. And with what's on board right now, we can kill the Kaw eggs. So this is tempting. I think it's going to be best to roll for uh, at least one more cantrip, if possible. Okay, Smith is interesting. I think I'm going to take that. Give me the cleanse side. Hell yeah, it happened. Okay, so if we cleanse the poison here, we do this, we're going to burst the caw egg. Huh. Yeah, I really kind of wanted to boost this, but I don't really see the function of it. I think I'm going to be very happy just having destroyed this caw egg and cleared the poison. It's like, essentially, this round's not even happening except for we cleared out two of the things that can summon enemies. Okay, four mana doesn't seem bad. I think I'm going to roll for cantrips here, though the, the reuse is definitely useful. Yeah, all right, all right. 
Definitely down with Fortel Burst here. That seems uh, good, strong. Uh, we should also hit the... Uh, hit the ghost at least once here. Ooh, Exert. Well then, this is pretty strong. Like, we can take the carrier out right now. Let's just try this play real quick. And we have oodles of mana. Oodles. I'm going to hit here, and then foretell burst like this. All right, so the leader's taking two poison, but uh, I think we've I think we've cleared this fight more or less. Okay, that looks great. Oh yeah, we're just good here. Boom! You did. Swap disciple with juggler. I don't think so. If we did that, we could have the Seer Cantress, but this would mess up our ladder strategy right now, so uh, I'm going to say no. Prism. Plus one pip for each keyword on this side, or two random level four items. Two random fours doesn't seem bad here. Our left-hand side is not keyword heavy. Okay, on this one we have two, so that'd be a four growth. We can also choose to uh, move the Shroomer over to another character so that they're getting plus one on that side. I think we're going to go for two times uh, random tier four items here. Oh, it's middle, not left. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. We're going to go for randos here. All right, pulley, shift my column down by one. Okay, interesting. Plus two item slots, max four. Add pristine to the le two left sides, plus four max HP. This is nice. Nice items. Hey, y'all, our ads are about to play. I'm just going to stand a stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you to do the same. Be back in just a minute for some more fun. You let the ads play. Do appreciate it. Supports a lot. If not, totally understand. Be right back.
All right, I'm back. Our ads are playing. I'm just going to uh, fiddle around with items real quick while these are going. If you have any suggestions for item locations, I'd be happy to hear them. What does this do now? Okay. Okay, so with this combination with the ladder and the the shift, we can... This makes the bottom blink. Okay. So no huge benefit in doing this this way, but it does... It does allow us to shift things a little bit, which is not necessarily bad. Add pristine to the two left sides. That'd be so good here if we weren't using the quiver. What happens if we were not have the quiver equipped? Yeah, the considerably worse. This also gives plus two item slots, which is ridiculous. Yeah, the cantrip has been performing uh, excellently here. Okay, let's try pulley up here. Okay, so that just makes the bottom blank. That is uh, fair. What if we do the cantrip here and then put the ladder? Okay. Okay, I want pristine on something else. Which one gives the extra item slots? Pulley? Yeah, okay. That's definitely not bad. Can also choose to do pulley over here. And then... Grab that. I mean, pristine here is pretty nice. Shift my column down by one. Why is this changing where that's at? What is what's up with this? Why does this move to blank, but in slot three it's not? Oh, because the blessed water is replacing first. Okay. Cool. I guess as long as blessed waters last, it's fine. No, it has to be this order. I think this is going to be the best we're going to do with this current setup. I also think the two left sides with one mana contra blank is not so hot here. Let's check out if we can do anything here. So if we get the pulley on the... Uh, Here. That is pretty nice. I mean, pristine range damage. Not shabby. I do think Stalwart does take to this pulley setup pretty nicely, though, because uh, having a vitality overheal on the first round is uh, it's interesting, at least. Pretty hard to turn down raw damage, though. That's a potential 12 damage opener on Juggler. Oh, I see what you're saying, uh, Buckle Zero. So you thought the ladder would give you the pristine on the middle. Uh, yeah, so the, the ladder copies the base side of the hero. So it does not take the copies of the middle, but it gives whatever would be their base, which is two cantrips in this case. It's a good idea in there. So I guess we're deciding whether we prefer... Uh, pristine shield cleave or we prefer um, bonus damage over here. I think I'm going to go for the extra on the stalwart. Yeah. It would be awesome here if we can get some cantrips and just kill the hydra outright. Okay, that's two sources of damage on the Hydra. Hydra reads, uh, if I take damage five times in a turn, I die. It's 
So that's four sources of damage. I still need a cantrip. A juggler cannot not roll damage. I'm going to lock in the leader here. Did not get any cantrips. Dang. We're also not at full health here. I'm hoping we're at full health after this fight. How much damage doing here? Four? Um, so I can stun the Cyclops here. That's a fact. I think that looks all right. Go for uh, Cleave here. And then... Boom, boom. All right. Jesus, new plus 11, though? Come on, now. Be reasonable. So the only way the stalwart's surviving this round is if we get cantrips and get the damage here. That's it. Wrong one for cantrips. All right. Probably got to take the two here. This is exceptionally bad because the um, stalwart is going to summon a wolf if they die. I guess there are worse things that can happen, but uh, still pretty dismal. Okay, we're going to hold out hope for cantrips on the Hydra. Okay, so we're going to be able to kill the Hydra here and live. That's two sources of damage, three sources of damage, four, five. Exert. Lucky rolls there, man. Okay, we got Fencer, which has six damage pristine middle. Uh, two double use, two damage sides. And Surgeon. Revive the topmost defeated ally. I mean, that is very tempting. Probably a, an improvement on Disciple. Also, with the way Juggler's set up, it's still benefiting Leader, and we have, like, a good damage kit, so... I'm gonna take Surgeon, in this case. It's less Monogen, that's probably actually best for us. Okay, so what is Surgeon's middle here? To find that out, we're gonna move the ladder to the Seer. It is three mana heal, okay. Oh, okay, I was missing that. Alright, here we go. Yeah, having Resurrection on Spell is a lot nicer than having it on a dice end, for sure. It's like, if you can Resurrect before the end of the fight, they're no longer half health, which is massively beneficial. Yeah, I'm seeing here now that Pristine on the Stalwart is not great, because the Stalwart is getting something that makes them hurt here. Plus four mac. Okay, so the flawed diamond, you have to have a healing source in order to activate the pristine. I see. I see. Well, I mean, as a beginning, if I take these two, I could kill the archer, which is doing uh, the main of the damage to the stalwart. But I think rolling for potential cantrips here is the way to go. That looks good. That's two sources of damage on Slate. This is three, four. Um, so we're not going to kill Slate this round. Let's take this. It keeps us open and keeping the killing the archer at least. All right, three heal double use would allow for a pristine on Stalwart. I think that's pretty tempting right now. 
Give me pristine. Ooh, we got the fifth source of damage. So if we exert the stalwart, which is a little scary, uh, we can take out the slate this round. I think that's worthwhile. Looks great. We get caught up here. That wolf, thanks for 33 months. And Waffle Copter, thanks for 82 as well. You keep watching, I'll keep streaming. It's a deal, dude. It's a deal. All right, heal looks sick here. Save the juggler. I was going to say the three attack on the leader looks good too, but we got some options here. Okay, so we're going to not use a couple dice here and kill Archer this round. So let's first go one, two like this, and then we'll hit for here. Why is this doing so much damage, though? I see. Get out of here! Okay, uh, heal three saves the leader here. It's not a cleanse, but it's something. Okay, four mana. Heal and two mana sounds good too. Three damage, acceptable. Nice. All right, so we're gonna burst and burst again because they're dead next round, guaranteed. Oh, it's fine. Copy the left side onto the middle row. Okay, this is a save for the set here. Okay, well, what if we just copy Juggler up to be... All cantrips. something to think about. I think I'm going to put the flawed diamond over here and do that. Because now basically if we get a heal on the juggler and we roll, we can do just massive amounts of damage. We can also choose to use Fully here, right? And then that gives us four spots now. We can go like uh, this. No. Oh, interesting. Okay. There's a problem with this because it uses our hero's dice, which we do not want on cantrip. I guess pulley has less function than we'd like here. It's hard to find a use for this one. I guess we'll put it on the cleave shield. It doesn't um, make anything worse. Uh, also, depending on what fight we have, uh, we should keep our mind open to uh, having cleanse here. Like this looks really nice, but also uh, this is very nice. Because uh, this is still an option. What if... What if we use the silk cape here? And then on this we use... Quiver still. Silk 
certainly not bad. We can put big heal on Surgeon. This is a tough evaluation to make for me um, because the cantrips are resulting in so much damage. I kind of think I prefer... Uh, prefer it the other way. Okay, let's remove these real quick. So we're going to copy the middle onto the center row. And then we're going to give him pristine. And... Guess we're okay with this. The shifting the column doesn't really do anything here. I guess it opens up more inventory spots. Uh, if you put the, the cauldron into the cantrip, when you rolled the cantrip, it would exhaust the other dice. So you'd be out of your turn if you rolled that side. It's pretty tough. I kind of like this setup right here. Looks pretty good. Gonna miss the range damage on the quiver for sure. But here we go. Ooh, lad. That's some damage. Well, uh, reuse dice and cleave if I hold those two right here. I mean, that is, um, huh. that's six block. No, that's 12 block. 12 block sounds really amazing for an opener. Two mana growth. Mercy. We did get the two damage side, which is uh, helpful. All right, so let's hit the wisp here. Then we can double burst to stop bones from being summoned. Yeah, that would be a nice ball cap, but you know, single Devonal. I've noticed that people say that for pretty much every game I play. More information would be better, I agree. Though this game has really amazing tooltips, uh, even from a viewing perspective. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. I would have loved to do more damage this round, but we stopped the summon from happening. Inflict pain, that's tough. Maybe that's actually better to let the pain go. Self-heal vitality three. Hmm, because empty max HP two. Hmm. Tough one. So I guess we just got to decide right now what uh, what unit we want to remove. I do like the idea of removing the skeleton. So if we kill any, while we are capped on enemies on the screen right now, if we kill any unit in this turn, it's going to be there. And even if it gets summoned, it still is off screen. It'll appear. 
uh, momentarily. There is an upside to maybe killing the Middle Wisp uh, here. One, it's doing damage to Leader, who is our most attack target. And two, Bones aren't terribly hard to kill, and they deal uh, side damage uh, when they die. Yep, that's also a point. We could uh, we could double heal on Juggler here to pristine kill uh, a zombie. And there is some temptation to that as well uh, in the reason that uh, the next turn Juggler will be pristine. So we have chance for four damage cantrip hits on four of the six sides. That's pretty enticing. Let's uh, take a look at it. So if we uh, heal here and then heal here, we get hit for four on a zombie. All right. Yuck. That's right. Yuckers. The big downside to this that I see. Oh, we can even kill this wisp as well. Okay. That's definitely it. We got rid of the pain, got rid of the zombie. That looks awesome. Roll them bones. Uh, nobody's dying this round. Two, two mana here is not bad. What's our other side? Let's go for the cantrips. Oh, juggler, you're killing me right now. There you go. All right, so this takes out the other zombie. Uh, additionally, I could exert kill the zombie. That's pretty tempting. Only one damage here, huh? Hmm. Well, it sure would have been nice to get that this round. Well... Yeah, you know, if we just go like this here, and takes out two of the three problems. Stalwart's getting pained here, so this would be the perfect time to use Exert. Could additionally Smith here. And then hit the Wisp. Is cleave or double use? Double use. It's already double. So five heals not going to do too much. If I boost this, do I get some uh, armor back? I do. Looks pretty nice. Also, hold up here. This is pristine and I boost it. Do that and then this. That's a better, better option. Juggler is also healthy for next round, so we should be uh, cantripping our way out of this. Nice. Well, that's that. Whoa. All right, so these cantrips are pretty nutty. But uh, copying the middle row on Ludus would give us four six damage sites. Weaver is not inefficient here either for the same reason. The only thing I'm not liking about Weaver is this side is basically wasted. Yeah, if we weren't locked at two spells, middle row, uh, Weaver would be nice, but we are, so it's just not a mana build. I'm hesitating here because this is basically a potential 12 damage per turn, 
Though in order to activate it, we have to get the pristine going. So, uh, I mean, just Ludus doing six damage is not is not bad. Uh, Weaver has crush three damage to top and bottom enemies, which is it's not bad. I think Ludus is a pretty clean upgrade. I, I really like my juggler, but uh, Ludus with this will also be good. It could even be a 12 damage hit if we get Ludus healed. That's a lot. I also think that uh, juggler's efficiency is falling off as we speak. I'm going to go for Ludus. I mean, four pristine six damage sides is... It ain't bad. It ain't bad. Oh, hey, with that, we unlocked one of the uh, remaining characters here, huh? Let me pick Ludus. What is this? 100 deaths. Da get a big dabbler twice. We unlocked something there. Okay, here we go. Uh, prize on, we have the Blurst um, effect here. Uh, plus one item quality, minus one offered item. Okay, this gets Ludus to full, so we're gonna we're gonna bank on this. Uh, this also saves the uh, the leader, so I'm gonna go there. Let's roll it. Come on, Ludus. There it is. Lock it. That's right. Two to six straight. Leader five damage as well. Mmm. Seventeen damage. I think we just drop the Hydra this round with that. Can also just take out the demon here. Regardless, I don't think we're gonna do much better than that. Uh so I guess the roll, your potential roll would be for a double hit on Ludus, but uh 12 and 5 is 17. This would bring us to enough to kill the Hydra outright. So it's a matter do I want to deal with the Hydra or the Demon. I think the Demon's actually easier to deal with than the Hydra. It does a lot less damage. It can summon and do this uh, 6 damage pain. But we're looking at 10 damage on two sides and then 5 damage cleave for 15 damage. I think this is the priority target for us. It also very much shores up leader, so that's good. Block for Ludus so he stays pristine. Very likely we roll into that again next round. Yo, the J gets things for 54 months, man. Appreciate that. Lock it. That's the round right there. Slam him and jam him. You've been slam jammed. Slam jamming. Reporting for duty. Puzzle box. Add enduring to the two left sides. Swap the left side with the middle side. Ooh. Keywords remain when the side is replaced if possible. Uh, we'll be thinking about that, but uh, before we before we head into that, uh, here at the two-hour mark, going to stand up, stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you to do the same. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Please do enjoy these uh, kitters that are going to appear on cam momentarily. I'll be back in just a few minutes, eating some food already prepared. Thanks to my lovely wife. See you in just a minute for the conclusion of our very first unfair run on stream. Been fun.
All righty, I have returned. Thanks for your patience there. I appreciate it. Okay, we got to mess with some items here and figure out what the hell's going on. Okay, well, I think Pristine on Ludus here is going to be it. I mean, 12 damage hit is uh, as good as we're going to get. Add Enduring to the two left sides. Swap the left side with the middle side. Enduring, keywords remain when this site is replaced, if possible. What if Pulley goes here? Oh, I see the problem with that. Alright, I guess let's open the floor to chat here. Is there any feasible use that we're seeing for the Oh, excuse me, hiccups. Any feasible use we can see for this uh, puzzle box and enduring to the two left sides. Here, the growth mana becomes a cantrip. Okay, hold on. So it'd be ink bottle first. Okay. Then we get growth cantrip, but we lose mushroom. Damn. Okay, who would be the next uh, target for Shroomer? Probably Leader. God bless these hiccups. Bless him. Then we also have to get Pulley on somebody. That's inoffensive. Place to have Pulley. Okay, so now these have Growth Cantrip. That seems acceptable. My hesitation becomes if the... Uh, well, I guess we put on Stalwart. What does this do? This has to do with middle side activation. Hmm. Surgeon heal becomes cantrip with this, okay? If the book's equipped. Heal mana gain vitality. I think I like this best. I don't want hiccups anymore, thanks. Yes, single use here is a little bit uh, underutilized, I agree. Alright, so we can just keep it growth cantrip this way without the pulley. We still have all of our items equipped, so there's not really a big downside to that. 
This is fine, though. Chance for huge cleave. Okay, chance for huge cleave is it. Chomp double troll. Alright. Okay, well, we got the right hit on Ludus here. I think I'm going to roll, even though three mana would be very nice. Maybe we'd do better. God bless hiccups. Bless him. I mean... So with this, I could kill a chomp and a troll this round by um, double healing Ludus and then hitting the troll with Ludus, replenishing, hitting the troll with the Stalwart, and then finishing with the Ludus hit. Uh, Chomp does damage for each pip removed. It's a tough fight. Yeah, this looks good. Let's just try this real quick. I'm gonna roll again on C or see what we get. Fair. I mean, yeah, it hurts, but... Removing two of the three enemies from combat does not seem wrong. There's the Ludus side. Here's double heal again. So we're going to get that 12 damage hit. So this is the kill right here. Awesome. Ooh, inevitable. I have not fought this guy yet. Take a look here. All right, inflicts exert. Six damage heavy self heal era. Three damage to the top and bottom enemies weaken era. Wow. Bunch of wisps. Okay. So. Uh, I will admit that uh, putting silk cape on wizard could be pretty awesome. Like silk cape mushroom could give per perma boost two uh, four times. It's not untempting for this fight in particular. <laughs> God bless it. Pickups are tough. Uh, because we can kill the Wisp with one hit on Ludus, regardless of the pristine status. I guess without the Silk Cape, that's still only... Only one side can kill. That's tough. Uh, I like Weaken on gas, too. Then we could replace the left side on gas with the book. Also really enjoying what the Seer's doing here. For me, this is a toughie. I feel like the perma boost is better than Ludus, but I, I like the idea of Ludus getting a kill every single round. All right, so here, what do we have? Kill an enemy with exactly one HP, then plus three mana cooldown. Can only be used once per turn. 
So on a four damage hit, we can kill a Wisp with that. Uh, it's not bad for one of our two spells. Inspire target hero can use their dice again at cooldown. Hmm. Inspire does not seem bad for Ludus. I don't know. I think I'm going to go Ghast here because these two uh, two damage weakened sides basically take a turn away from the boss. And that uh, that seems very desirable. We'll get rid of the five mana death with uh, the cantrip one. All right, I guess it is. I think also gas was one we hadn't taken yet. Hand trip weaken. Here we go. It is single use, but we got a chance of rolling into it, so that's tempting. What if we put Shroomer over here as well? Boy, this is a tough decision on these items. I definitely like a Shroomer here, regardless. Definitely okay with that. We still get some cantrip shield. We get the two, three hit weakens, which does uh, basically stop that. Not the left side, the middle side. It's so tough for us because the um, middle's blank at base. Well, the only thing I'm totally sure of here is we definitely want a Shroomer on this weekend. If we had Flawed Diamond on the gas, we could technically get six weekend, but uh, all of the boss's skills are three, so three is a good amount to stop with. Removing Inkwell just makes two sides blank. Uh, removing Spellbook gives us a side we never want to use. I think, unfortunately, this puzzle box just ended up being a little bit dead here. And that's all right. Well, there is this just to uh, shore up another side here. Only enduring. That's it, huh? I believe this is the play. Actually, hold up. This has no use right now. Okay, here we go. Does this do anything for you? This cleanse if replaced. Okay, if this has cleanse, what does the pulley look like over here then? Yeah, we're keeping cleanse there with that. Still getting two, three weakened sides as well. Though the downside is we then have this dead roll here. I think uh, cleave, cleave cleanse sounds very valuable for this fight. I mean, I think even on this fight, there is an argument for going for uh, silken cape on the stalwart because the boss is doing... All of this stuff. I, I guess actually it's more of a DPS race because this is era. It's going to go up by one pip every single round. 
So we should probably just go for the maximum damage hit here, try to clear the adds off, and then uh, just go ham. I think that's how we're going to do it. Right, who's getting the pulley here? You are. Oh, nice. Also good. Yeah, that's still in range to kill one of the wisps. Let's do that. So the concession we're making here is having... the ghast having six mana, death decay. Oh, we have operate. So we can actually do this and operate to get the gas back for a net three uh, mana. All right, I'm going to roll the fight in like this. I think it's going to be as good as we're going to do currently. Okay, well, this is great. Uh, they did a non-weaken style attack first. Okay, we've established that double cleave does get Ludus to a 12 hit. So, I mean, that could be that could be worthwhile here. Also, is leader going to do better than that? The five hits the only one better. I don't think so. Okay, there we go. This looks okay. You know, the double block was best one here. Fair. Okay, well, we got it back. All right, so we're not going to take any damage here. We're going to be killing off uh, at minimum two whiffs. So I guess the real question is, do we go double wisp kill here? Or do we go for a 12 damage hit on inevitable and kill one wisp instead? I think removing the wisps is important because every wisp has a two and yeah two and six chance to summon a bones, and we're very lucky. There's no inflict pain here. It's just going to be overhealing. So I guess additionally is an option here. Uh, we could kill two of the wisps that are doing vitality instead. Uh, the Wisps are only healing themselves, so uh, there will be no additional pip heal here, but I, I believe if a boss had this uh, immune to damage effect, yeah, it could. Uh, big part of me here says do this. It takes two of the pips. Like... Ludus is also not taking damage, so I mean, there's potential to maybe get a three hit kill. It's taking over one third of the boss's health on the first round. Man. Yo, Anna Lauda, thanks so much for 23 months. Adoran, thanks for 127. And Kane Beard, thanks for 73. Enjoy your lurk. Thank you. Yo, Sanity, thanks for 36 months, three years, and climbing. Thank you. I don't know. A big part of me here says go ahead and just hit inevitable. Yeah, this is a tough one for me. Like, 
Okay, if we kill both of the summoning wisps, Ludus is still going to be able to one-shot the wisps that gain additional health. So that's, uh, it's worth considering. I think there's downsides and upsides to both strategy here. Removing over 30% of the boss health in one round is pretty good. Oh yeah, the boss is going to heal themselves for six here. That's true. So when it does heal, is it going to get the invulnerability pits back? So let me know how that works. Like if I hit here and he heals, is it going to give the pit back or just health? Does not give the invuln back. Okay. Okay. Well, that makes it a little easier then. Let's kill one of the ones summoning a bones. And let's go here. A very fortunate opening roll. Okay, let's get weakened three on the gas here now, please. Thanks. Um, okay, this kills a wisp. Oh, it's weakened four. A oh, weakened four is incoming. Got it. Well. I think uh, pretty obviously we're going to go with the weaken. Uh, strong consideration to hit the boss here. Uh, at a minimum, I want to remove one of the two wisps that is doing the uh, pain effect. Okay, so gas is getting pain next round. That's tough. Can I do better than this? Yeah, we're already capped, so I think the the heal is really one of the best here. Let's reroll on the stalwart. Okay, we can pre-cleanse the uh, gas damage. Now, there is an argument here, too, to keep Ludus full health by uh, blocking on Ludus and then cleaving up top. I guess this is also hitting Ludus, so that does work. All right, so we're going to go weaken three on the boss, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what this looks like with max damages. Okay, if we take this route, we can definitely kill the boss next round. Ludus doesn't even need to be boosted to kill the boss next round. That looks really good. And then we can go here, that gets the weakened cleansed off, and then we can heal here, get him to full. I mean, that looks pretty optimal to me. I, I'm gonna take this. I think the longer this boss stays alive, the worse it is for us. The other enemies aren't growing in strength like bosses every round. Okay. Well, I think Vitality Heal looks pretty good. I also think on Stalwart that uh, Cleave Block looks nice. This kills the boss. This kills a Whisper of Bones. Probably... <laughs> That's tough. There's going to be more Bones after this. I think I'm going to roll Ludus looking for a big hit on maybe this Wisp. Okay. 
Yo, Armetheus, thanks for 49 months, man. Really appreciate that. Okay. So. The boss is dead. I'm going to use my 12 damage hit on this wisp that's going to summon another bones. We're going to hit him with the blocks. We're going to heal up. I don't see a point in bursting yet. I can't believe we're about to win our very first unfair attempt ever. That's nuts. The boost is kind of tempting so we can make the gas kill uh, bones or whatever, but we might be better off searching for a damage hit. Oh, I see the leader has pain this round. I see. Oh, we can stop any more summons from happening. Surgeon's barely dead, leader's barely dead. So taking out one of these two bones would be desirable as well. If I do this and this, leader and surgeon are saved. So I think I'm going to take that route. Could also uh, cleanse up here. This has cleave. The downside to this is that after we use it, Blocks out. This is still better, though, than um, using either of these. We can cleanse shield 8 right here. This is technically a net gain of 1. This would kill the leader, so I'm looking for a uh, reroll skill. Okay, well, to begin... To begin, let's hit the wisp that is uh, summoning right now. And then I can also weaken that one. Let's hit the hit the bones here that's hitting us or hit the wisp that's hitting us. It's like such a huge overkill to do it this way. Why I hesitate? I go like this. OK, that allows him to hit. Okay, so let's hit the bones with this. Let's hit the wisp with this. Let's hit the pain infliction with this. And then we'll harvest. It is still a bit overkill with that. Alright, everybody stays alive here. Yeah, we can't cleanse first in this case because this one has the uh, cauldron that's right. So it gets bonuses for dice not being used and then uses everybody's dice if we use it first. This has to go last. All right, loot is still being full healthier is pretty mint. Okay, that kills one bones. That kills the other bones, and we're just looking to roll on Ludus here. Easy. Got him. There you go. Unfair victory on our very first unfair run ever. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Stats. Pretty nice. That unlocks brutal, huh? Oh yeah, me and my wife did an unfair run on the tablet last night, and uh, <laughs> yeah, he summoned uh, the hand summoned nine swords in three turns. It was just, it was pretty, uh, pretty intense. I think I want to try out a mode or two now. Uh, we've got our unfair victory there. Awesome. 
Let's try a cool one. Raid did seem interesting. What else is there? What's under creative? A okay, paste custom wish. Cursed run. Crappy's demo. Let's generate all heroes randomly generated. Okay. Give that a try. What's heaven mode? Is heaven mode an option on classic? Oh, it is now that we un beat unfair. Okay. So heaven, you get blessings instead of you getting uh, detriments. Got it. Well, I'm pretty stoked on having this unfair victory. That was uh, something I had not accomplished even in my last time playing, so apparently my time off uh, helped. Okay, let's go into cool here. Let's go generate, generate all heroes randomly generated. We're just going to take a normal run here on generate. And we'll pick a uh, side class here. Let's go for greens. Uh, all right, we got some randos in here, man. Oh, I bet this locks us out of seeing the uh, portraits, huh? Or unlocking these other ones, because they're all going to be random. Yeah. All right, y'all, quick bathroom break for me. It's going to stretch my legs real quick, too, and then we're going to either play this one or pick a different mode. I'm not sure. Uh, feel free to drop any suggestions you have for modes in chat. I'd love to hear them. We'll be back in about uh, three to five minutes for the continuation of the stream.
All right, I'm back. We still have about 40 seconds to clear here. I think I'm going to choose a different mode. Oh, no. I'm going to reboot the game real quick. I just changed my capture. Luckily, this game saves the uh, size of the window, which is really good. All right, there we go. Let's check out choose party here. Choose a starting party. Duplicate level ups allowed. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. Awesome. One dabble here. There we go. Uh, fighter's pretty good. I think Brigand, too. Ruffian. Order, nah. Let's go for, um... Go for Fighter. And then how about instead of a gray, we choose a green here? House Cat can't level up, which is tough. Nice opener, though. Primrose looks really nice. What's the L? Leaf, target, ally, boost, one. One keyword side and one blank side. Okay. Spade's interesting as well. Played as Pockets. I've also played as Reflection and Tender. So I guess we're going to go for Primrose here. And for our red... Blunt is pretty sweet. Gardener spells nice too. Let's try Gardener here. And then for our final class, Blue. I definitely like Mage with Flick. That's a good one. Prophet. Meddler? Get out of here, Meddler. You're meddling right now with summoning bones. This guy's brutal, has really strong sides, but then also summons bones <laughs> if you roll on these sides. Uh, if, win, you go there. Let's take mage. Oh, that's cool. Randy B123 says the cool thing about cat is your other heroes level up faster and you get tier fours. Interesting. Let's check out kitty cat things. It feels like to get this, you almost have to start with it. Thanks for uh, clarifying that. As always, you're more than welcome to uh, point out anything about the game we're playing, as well as make suggestions. That's all gravy. Yes. Let me uh, get caught up everywhere here in chat. Thank you so much for your uh, support today. Persephone TV, thanks for that prime sub. Sad the Sith 47, thanks for 22 months. And shut up, Shammy, thanks for 38. Just thank you all for all the things you do to make this content possible and sustainable here in our 12th year now. All heroes and monsters plus two max HP. All heroes replace blank sides with one damage cantrip pain. This sounds very nice in the early game, albeit dangerous. All monsters add single use and plus one pipped all side. I think I'm just gonna skip this. Like these all kind of bad, maybe more HP. We'll take more HP, fine. <laughs> that makes archers have four health. I'm gonna skip this. All right, well, block saves the mage, so I think we're gonna go for that. Yeah, heal one growth. If I needed a heal at the moment, that'd be a lot nicer. 
Give me some mana, please. That is a mana. Um, okay, we're going to poke this rat, then hit it. I'm gonna block for the kitty cat. Don't leave the kitty cat hanging now. Three damage, that's sick. Wow, okay. We got the mana. Alright, Herbalist or Evoker. I am a huge fan of both of these, but uh, Vine is pretty mint. That one damage or one heal flexibility is huge. I'm going to take Herbalist. Have I taken Evoker yet? Yes, I've taken all of the blue heroes. Cleave? Yeah, it is. Alright, well, Cleave Poke kills a bee. Ah, I guess the bee dying is not actually that important. Let's lock these two. That's five. So we can kill the wolf here, saving the house cat. So our only burden would be to uh, diminish the boar then. I guess with all of this, we could also just kill the wolf and then save the mage. That's not untempting. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take the guarantee here. Should be it. Boom, bam, blammo. Ooh, chest. Open cursed chest, random tier one cursed item, a random tier four item. Hmm. Tier four is pretty good right now. There are some pretty bad cursed items like minus one all pips. What the heck? Let's go for it. Two times versus those targeting me this turn, okay? Place the top and bottom sides with blank. Okay, that's fine for now. We can just toss out on the kidders. Curse kidders. There's nothing there anyways. And then I guess this is the only damager, so we put the dueling on the fighter. Yeah, you can do it in the inventory, uh, Sad the Sith, that's right. Revert all changes to the middle column. Okay, so that actually should take the bull here, so that, um, this should work. Like, if we go here, and then here. Yeah, so, this bull negates this if we have to put it on a different character. Awesome. Is anybody targeting fighter this round? They aren't.
the start. Later, Tater. Okay. Extra monster bandit here with Alpha and Wolf. We get Trowel. Get Iron Heart at Exert and plus one pip to all sides. Interesting. And Big Heart replace middle side with heal seven. I'm going to try it. What the hey? Left side with revive. I don't know about that. Go exert in plus one on all the mage sides. Actually, on the herbalist sides right now. Let's see if this works for us. Okay, it removes the bonus, so there's no upside to that. See heal seven being useful later. I am a large fan of the juggler. Collector is a pretty decent early game, too. Man, the duel with the Death Wish, if Fighter is going to die, you get four times damage on this hit. I think the best I can describe it is the bull removes all previous effects of any items. So if we add a keyword with um, an item, the bull will remove it, which can be beneficial. We're gonna go juggler here. I need damage this fight. It's really by justification here. House Cat's in big trouble with two poison here. We can just kill the bandit this round. That's a possibility. Two, four, five, six. No, actually not quite yet. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be turning down two damage. Poison. Seems unlikely. This is one damage cleave. Okay. I think we may have to accept that the cat is dropping on this uh, this round. Okay, that was really fortunate. Woo. Not being targeted this round, but two damage is still our best hit. Oh, we're exerted, right? Bear. Well. I'm going to use heal one on juggler because we can roll into this again uh, next round. Would have loved to kill the alpha there, but it's going to be one more turn. All we care about is damage right now. 
That's all damage. That's why I'm going to lock this so we don't die. Terrarium. Replace the two right sides with shield two growth and plus one mana growth. At range to the left side. Well, I'm liking uh, Mage getting these two blanks replaced. Also, just giving the house cat the shields might not be bad. Well, this is just more more usable sides. Also, we could uh, remove the negative side. This is like getting two better sides. Yeah, let's do that. Even better. All right, three mana exert. I'm in. So goblin flees if alone. Not, not a bad reason to focus the ogre here. The ogre is at nine health right now. This brings us to four, five, six. Uh, not impossible. I'm gonna take this here. Okay. Yeah, we got the fight one here. Just gotta vine it up. No, is this two damage? Did I really miscount here? I did. That's fair. Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we are one shy. Well, okay. In that case, we'll just... Uh... Withhold for next round. Roar! Alright, three, six, we're one damage shy here. Uh, we'll hold the fighter. That'll do it. A soldier or Sparky? I'm not convinced I've taken Sparky yet, and we actually have an okay setup for Sparky. Got good mana gain here for him. Let's see if this is true or not. No, we've apparently taken all blue heroes. Oh, he's just unlocked. Have not been chosen 0% pick rate. Okay, so they can be revealed here, but not... Uh, have never been chosen. I think it's going to be as good of a time as any pick. Sparky, though I will say Soldier is Mr. Consistency. He's very strong uh, early game hero. Okay. I guess that makes it so blind doesn't flee. That is a downside to cantrips. Two damage poison exert sounds cool. I don't like that the kitty cat's dying right now. Upsetting. Okay, well this saves this. Uh, I'm gonna go for the poison hit on the barrel. Pretty painful opening round here. The barrel dying will do five damage to the blind and the cyclops. Blind flees if no damage is done to any monster during the round. Okay, well this locks it. For the barrel kill. And then we're going to need to protect the house cat. I guess the fighter is our chance to do that. Or we actually stun the Cyclops here, which is going to be plenty. Everything's A-OK -okay number one, I tell you what. Oh, yeah. Oh, bam, blam, oh. Hey, just replace the middle side with shield one duplicate steel. 
Add self-cleanse to the left side. I like the idea of juice. It's fine on juggler, fine on sparky. Probably best on juggler. All right, hoping for some uh, opening cantrips on the slate so we can just get them done. Pretty uh, fortunate opener here as well. Okay, that's damage we're going to take. That's a cleave. It's 3-4 damage right here. Uh, oh, this does four damage right now. We're good. He only has four left. Nice. What's that? Killing enemy with exactly two HP. Oh, okay. You've been zip zapping. You know what, Slimer? Later, Tater. All right, I've got Scrapper Soldier here. These are both pretty nice. Uh, again, Soldier is Mr. Consistency, so I'm going for it. Yeah, Duel could be a big hit here. Would Juice on Herbalist Cleanse Exhaust? Yeah, it would. It would. How about this way? No, you want, we want to exert, then self-cleanse. In that order. Alright, three mana is pretty strong. Just this block saves Soldier, and for that reason I'm going to lock it. Okay, Sparky is to three damage uh, with the charge. Honestly, not bad. That's better. Cat, I'm a kitty cat, and I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. The mode is currently choose party normal. Looks great. Well, this fight went nice. Cracked plate minus four max HP at the start of each turn. Self shield four. Does this kill the kidders? Can we go below one health? Add evil and plus one pip to all heal self heal. If this saves a hero, I die. Just looking. Oh, we can't go below one. Okay, that's nice. I mean, this does make them incredibly weak to poison, but uh, even with that. Well, let's find out how this works. Yeah, it's fine. Poison's the big risk here, then. Well, I think it overall improves the survivability of the house cat a lot, because it's basically gaining full HP every round. Also, nice to know that items will not drop, uh, drop them below there. Oh, Lord.
Well, three mana is not wrong. Uh, does this do armor? No, it does not. I'm tempted to take the house guy here because there is uh, definitely a play where I'm able to take out the militia this round. It's going to require us to get one more mana, but it's very possible. Yeah, let's go here. We get mana or block, and we're feeling good. It's very tough to give that damage on the juggler, though. Hmm. I'm just going to roll it here. Okay, there's that. Okay, we can get the militia out of here this round. I'm going to go ahead and take the cleave, too. Looks good. Nice. All right, so we're going to block on Sparky. And then we're going to use the mana. We're going to hit uh, here. And then we're going to burst twice to get to over five. Then we're going to cleave. We're going to hit here. We're going to vine. We're going to cleave here. Big bada boom. Pick three hit. Okay, two hit kills here. Just gonna let this ride. Well, I do have some stuff to help out the eccentric. I do have the big heart, so you'd have four sides. Assassin's also quite good. I think Juggler is exceptional for this upcoming fight. That's right, the cat does not level, but that means that your other heroes have more level ups available. I guess it's eccentric. I don't know, three of the six sides on Juggler also kill uh, Bones or Imp without taking return damage. That's tempting. Not opposed to dueling on Sparky. That could be four mana. Hmm. I think Assassin is actually it here. And then Terrarium goes on... This is still pretty good here. We lose the dodge, but... These are nice sides. I don't know, I'm kind of liking this potential 4, four mana gain with damage. Okay, so I can hit this bones for 4 and get 4 mana here as well. That's awesome. Also, very unopposed to taking the cleave here, because if I don't, it's unlikely I get anything else. Five mana. No, let's roll here. Okay, that kills uh, one of the bones hitting the cat and saves them. I think damage looks good, too. Mana. Close enough. This one that has regeneration. Yes. Regin Exert.
I mean, what an opening round, man. Amazing. Reroll the class of assassin. I kind of liking assassin, but let's go for it. Fencer, okay. I think Fencer takes to the terrarium quite well as well. Also, the dueling pistol on the Fencer for an up to a 12 damage hit. Yeah, that seems like a huge one. Cauldron. Change top and bottom sides, plus two, minus two. Add dogma to all sides. Only pips change when the side is replaced. Is it pips only change or only pips change? Okay, I see. Only pips change when the side is replaced. So... Oh, that with heart gives us a seven mana gain. We could also get a seven damage cleave all on Fencer with that. So if I'm reading this correctly, we can go only pips change. I mean, seven damage all. Seems pretty good. Uh, also, it's good here. If we go... Um, decree first into the curse thing. Other way around. No, it still does the exert. This is definitely the one for me. The self-cleanse, exert. Exert self-cleanse. All right, we'll put the duel back on Sparky, and we'll give the terrarium to the house cat. No, house cat likes their items right now. I still like this. Okay, we're looking to roll middle on the fencer. That's all we gotta do. Yo, rather dashing. Thanks for 16 months. Pay me and go. Thanks for that prime sub as well. Cheers. That was a pretty bad opener. I'm just going to roll the whole thing. There it is. So that's the kill right now. <laughs> Oh, you did. Oh, you did. The Capitan. Or Kronos. I like both of these. What's the F here? Formation, two damage to all enemies, and shield all sides. Three damage, three shield pips. That's actually not that hard to do. This has gross. That can be a triple shield pip as well. Yeah? Captain time. I think we have a very nice lich fight. Especially if we roll into the cleave here. Okay, this is bonus damage. The target of the previous dice this turn. Not untempting. Does give us a three here. Um, as long as we're killing one bones, this is good. I'm tempted to take this on Sparky. Just to get it to three so formation works. Eh, let's roll. There it is. Two damage poison is going to be meant too. Let's roll again. 
All right, Sparky, uh, Sparky whiffed. All right, so we can uh, kill all the bones at once. And then... Leave here. Darn. I was really hoping to... Hit the lich with the poison this round. Let's see if there's a way to do that. So we'd be doing like here and here. Yeah, this isn't happening. It's still a really strong round, so no, uh, no harm done. Lich is in the back row in this case, Silvex. We have to clear all of the uh, units in front in order to make that work. Your idea is good, though. All right. Guess we're just not going to gain mana here. That's fine. All right, let me hit that whirl again. Let's go. There it is. Anvil. Smash this item two times random tier three. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Add alliteration to all damage size. Alliteration two times versus targets with the same first letter as me. Three of a kind, add trio to the rightmost side. Three times has the same pips as the two previous dice used this turn. Okay. Well, trio on Sparky is not terrible. Just think about uh, enemy names. I think that Captain probably wants alliteration. Uh, Sparky does have what? Uh, sniper, Snake. Take a look at the Almanac here. Sniper, Rat, Spider is another S. Shades, another S. Slimelet, Slime Queen, Slimer. Saber. Feels like this item was made for Sparky. go terrarium here and go like this I think I will all right cat dip at cantrip to the rightmost side all right blinding bolt after an ability is used, self-shield 2. Wow, that's really good because we have Vine and Zap, so cheap ability usage. So, I mean, even a 4 mana, that's 4 block 2 on a particular character. Guess we'll just throw it on Sparky because he's who has inventory space. Yeah, you can, um, 
swap out items in between combat, but I'm a bit more of a realist and I'm a human being, so the idea that I'm gonna remember to swap an item every single fight is not very realistic. Though it is a possibility. What's the A here? Right, two times with the first letter. So that's uh that's sniper there. Thought we had bonus damage. Do we move we crushed the dueling knife, right? Okay, well three damage is the best the house cat can do. Uh, admittedly, dodge on the fencer looks very nice here. The whirlwind would be best, but maybe just surviving this round is um better. Yeah, if we do it this way, we're getting out pretty cheap. And gaining some mana, too. Oh, also, hold on. Formation. There we go. That also counts as an ability. That's amazing. Okay, Sparky hits with this at least. Is this killing the demon? It is here and then double three damage. Then we have Cleave for the sniper kills. That's it. All right, Fate or Warlock. What does Warlock have? 13 damage blaze. Wow. Heal 2, Spell Rescue. Cost is refunded if it saves a hero. Pretty big fan of Fate with Heal, Shield, and Monogain. I think Fate's probably it. I like Warlock except for the uh, pain aspect. Now, if we gave the Warlock the the shield after an ability is used, self shield too. I mean, the mana gains less painful, especially if we start with Herbalist. Oh, this has bloodlust. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm liking Warlock here. Let's see our pick rate on Warlock. I think it's zero so far. Zero. Okay. All right, I, I'm going to take it. We swap the alliteration to captain. We've got two C's here. Damn. Well, that is awesome, because this kills both the cause. <laughs> nice. Then we'll poison the basilisk. Single use self damage heal. Uh, let's just roll it. All right, that looks all good. Looks good because it was good. 
All right, big fan of Shroomer. Let's charge link. Add charged and single use to the top and bottom sides. Plus one pip for each stored mana. And single use. I mean... Yeah. Charge single use doesn't have the best function in the build at the moment. Also, we have anywhere to get this trio working. Here, I guess. No, it doesn't even work there. Hmm. Hard to go wrong with Shroomer. I mean, plus one to all sides, but with Decay. Could even go Shroomer and Bull to remove the decay from the middle side, but just get plus one. Oh, that'll revert the plus ones as well. Well... We got Cyclops, Alpha, Alpha, so Captain is the, the main one right now. I'm going to take Shroomer. I'm going to put uh, Shroomer on Captain here. I'm going to put this on the, per the healing there on the person that benefits from it. Either that or we go Terrarium Tripler and give the... Uh, that goes on Captain. After an ability is used, self-shield. This is really strong. But I want it on Warlock. I think that's just not going to happen here. Okay, there we go. So the items in hold are revert changes to middle column. Add self-cleanse to the left side and trowel replace left side with revive. I think this looks adequate. Well, seven damage to everybody is um, definitely a feeling. I'm liking blocking on the house cat here. We can only save the house cat with block. And there might be some like pretty high function kills here, but... I think this opening side looks very nice. Let's give this a go. I can always pull it back and reroll if I need to. Okay, so Cyclops is stunned. Okay, with that being the case, I do not need the block. We see that now. So what we're going to do is hold everything except for this. Okay, awesome. It's going to do four damage to the Cyclops, and I believe as a use case here is also going to do four damage to the Alphas. No. So four here and then two on each side. Fair. Fair. Sick opener. Get out of here, you Cyclops. What are you thinking? Take your one eye and get out of here. All right, profit is four mana soothe. Man, soothe is a hell of an effect. Yeah, good point there, Twitchy. I think I'm going to take Profit. Uh, the reason being that we don't have any cleanse right now, and Soothe can kind of function like uh, an anti-poison. 
Uh, the house cat never gains any levels, but because of that, your other characters level up faster. Nomad Kane. They're also good at holding really junky or cursed items because they don't have many effect. Revive's also nice. Uh, let's take a look at our pick rate here. Not that this really matters, but I like picking things that I haven't taken yet. We're looking at profit here is zero out of three. Doctor is, or surgeons, three out of five times I've taken surgeon. All right, profit then. All right, I feel like profit might want this terrarium combo. That looks pretty good. And we'll add the uh, heal here. I guess the other option is like this. Alright, let's take a look. We have S here, here, and here. Tarantus. So alliteration is dead this fight. I'm going to keep it like this. Uh, not quite, Nigeko, because it, uh, the exert is part of the added effects. So if we put the bowl on the exert side, it will just remove the buffs. Like here, for example, if we put the bowl here, uh, yes, it removes the DK, but it also removes the plus one bonus it's giving. I guess we'll go juice here. Okay. Oh, good. You're going to summon three spiders. Oh, good. It'll be really cool if we were able to whirlwind next round. That'd be the one. I mean, whirlwinding this round's fine, too. Well... Okay, so this has chain on it. So the one we want to get is mana gain before casting that. But not with pain. We want it on the heal side. Does the warlock have a a side that works here? Growth trio. All right. I'm gonna roll out of this. I want that mana, but not at the cost of four health at the moment. Nice. Pristine. That kills one. Here's that uh, heal and mana gain. We're looking pretty nice right now. Let's also take this. We're gonna go uh, ham on mana. All right, cool. Um, oh, I can also get a pristine cleave here. That's interesting. Let's do it both ways and see what we like better. So I'm going to hit the spider. That's going to chain this into... Oh, okay. Two times that this shares a keyword with the previous dice's turn. Decay is one. Decay and cleave. Okay, here we go. So I can go here. And this gets four now. All right. I was misunderstanding how this worked. All right, so now we're going to go here, and then I'm going to heal the Warlock. And uh, it's seven mana. We do have options, including doing uh, 13 damage, but that would kill the Fencer here. I'm going to go for a Soothe on this round. Everybody gets uh, one regeneration with that. Okay, we got the Whirlwind. Amazing. Uh, three damage self-heal? Is that it? Single-use self-heal. I don't know. Do I care about that? Not really. Let's re-roll. Uh, 
Um, I'm actually going to roll here. Okay, keeping this, we're exerted this round, so that doesn't matter. Fine. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Because if we hit this orange pip, it's going to kill the top hero. So what we want to do is wait till we have dodge to pop that pip. Be ideal. Okay, bloodlust could be pretty sick here. Okay, we got dodge. Awesome. Nobody's dying this round. Might as well just damage Tarantus and then hope for Cleave next round. Actually, even better. So we're going to dodge here, and then I'm going to use the Cleave like this. We're going to gain 5 mana, and then I'm going to Blaze Tarantus. Boom, get roasted. All right, Wax Seal. All sides get plus one for each other identical side. Sickle, plus one pip to all lowest pip sides. They seem very good. Okay, the identical pips one, I think, is very specific to certain things like Quiver and maybe some other, uh, other build types. So uh, for me... I think we're going um, Sickle. And probably putting Sickle on Captain here to get three cleave each on that side. All sides get plus one for each other identical side. So the way I'm reading that is like these two would get plus one and these two would get plus one. These two would be plus one as well. These would be plus one. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be sickle here. Sickle is easier to do. A lot of damage on Captain. Okay, looking at this, our odds of actually pulling trio off on this is zero. Sniper, Wiz, Troll. So we could have the alliteration on Warlock this time. Or Wiz, maybe. All I gotta do is roll the cleave once and we're safe here. Oh, I can show that to you. The, the combination here, uh, Bobo, is we have the Decree which only pips change when the site is replaced. So, um, then we put big heart here. So instead of replacing the middle with the seven heart heal, it's giving us seven damage whirl instead. Four mana is good. Three more mana is also good. I mean, this is a certified roasting right now. Tempted to take the, the block on captain, but I'm going to roll it because cleave will... Definitely work here. Damn, that's rough. That is rough. I mean, in fairness, I can uh, do this to get the troll within two damage. Like, that's going to be the play, because the best chance to stun the Wiz or kill the sniper next round. Okay, we're all weakened up here. Do you have the sparks on you? You don't. Dang, this is a tough round. So I'm completely exerted here from Wiz. I was not expecting that. All right, I got to roll the cleave here to win. Additionally, I can take this. 
It's not ideal, but it's uh, good enough. Is this double use? Yes. All right. This is going to save us. Leaves fine too. Okay, well... Nobody's dying this round. This does self-damage, so I can't even use it here properly. You looking good, though. Oh yeah, Fencer's at full health. Blammo! Ooh, we got some level fours here. O four dot A five C or R four dot C six E. Hmm. Well, I'm certainly not opposed to uh, four cleave, two damaged range cleave. So with the same combo I have going on right now, uh, we could have a seven damage range cleave. That's pretty good. What's the spell app? Two mana shield seven is the spell. Woo. Two mana shield seven. Yes, that's the caveat of the uh, the cat, Mr. White. The house cat will not level up, but you get other heroes to higher level as a result. House cat's big chillin' right now. I think I'm going to go for R4.C6E here. Because this two mana hits pretty nice. Anything that copies top and bottom or improves top and bottom. No, this just improves right. Tough. Uh, that would allow us to move the ball and chain over to the new hero. Just really liking Fencer as it stands. I don't feel like this is that much an improvement other than, you know, the uh, 8 HP gain. It's not insignificant. I'm a bit torn on this decision. What is it? What does chat think here? I think there's a lot of value in the shield seven for two spell, but I don't like the three empty slots here. I think random level four could be uh, exceptionally bad. because I think all level four is going to be randomized, so. I think I do prefer the top hero here, but if we look at what the fencer's doing, we already have a damage all for seven and then two double use, uh, two double use sides. So this would be kind of a downgrade for damage, though the sides are a little bit better. Yeah, I'm going to go here. Um, thanks for your input. Let's go here, because this will lock this out, and then we can get a better um, a better thing on the house cap. Also, for alliteration here, uh, we do have... Fencer for F here. So Fencer needs both of his items, so alliteration's not going to happen. Kind of put Zap on Warlock. They have the self damage sides. So them getting shielded when we use abilities makes sense. Uh, you 
know, maybe exert on the cat is not so bad. They're not really doing much in combat anyways, so... Juice? Sparky? Oh, this side's only a one? Okay, well in that case we're going to put the terrarium over here. That improves them quite a bit. All right. Boom, what a hit. What a hit. I'm going to take the four mana as well, because I can at least save the house cat with that. Oh, yeah. Take that, too. If I roll the cleave on the house cat, we clear this right now. Yeah, it's not a cleave, but still very good. Oh, I see. This is fine, because we'll get the shield back here. Pretty disgusting opener. Yeah, I'm not doing any renaming of characters at this time, but that's probably something we'll do in the future. Add copycat to the top and bottom sides. I mean, Eye of Horus, I think, is one of the best items, period. Plus one pip to all sides. That's um pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not sure on renaming for alliteration. It might take the original name. No idea on that one. Well... I put the terrarium on Warlock, and then I put the plus one all sides on Warlock too. That'd be good. I think House Cat going Sparky kind of makes sense too. Huh. Like, this is a very tough item to give up. Copycat to top and bottom sides. Okay. So, Copycat right now could get double use. Could get pristine. Yeah, Copycat's a little rough with the self-heal stuff, too. Okay, we're gonna go Eye of Horus. Because it's friggin' good. All right, looks awesome to me. Fight 19 out of 20. Here we go. I don't think so, Sanity. I don't really think the other items are uh, as valuable as having... additional slots. Well, I'd really love to hit the whirl here. Let's just say that. I think we're going to go for it. 
you know, uh, claw on the cats as much damage we're going to get from that side, so... That's good. Four mana block sounds cool. Four mana's a lot. Um... God, that's pretty good, too. 12 damage. Just this out. This one shot's a demon. I gotta go for that. Okay, damage, self-heal, and then uh, kill a wisp, too. Also amazing. Okay. So, this one shot's a demon. No? Two times if I have full HP. Oh, it's already at plus. Got it. All right, fair enough. I misunderstood a bit. That'll happen. I was going to say, I generally don't mind suggestions while I play, but I do not want step-by-step -step directions on what to do on individual turns. That being said, I do appreciate all of your suggestions, but some of you need to cool it a little bit. Rest assured, everybody is fine at this very moment. Okay. Okay, next turn we're in pain, not this turn. Decay Chain. Okay, so we can get a 6 damage cleave here if we start like this. That does allow the fence to overkill one here. I think that's better than killing the other Wisp at this moment. Yeah. Let's, um, let's mana gain here first. First, and then, no, we have to burst first. Okay, I think that's really good. We took out two demons and a wisp on the first round. Nobody's taking damage. Okay, this does cause some pain, but we can kill off the other demon with that. Good start on Wisp. Bloodlust looks amazing, too. I think this turn is a cinch right now. Oh, hey, let's do this. Let's, um, let's bite the Wisp. I'm gonna burst the Imp. We get six mana here. And then four more mana. I'm gonna blast him, dude. Oh, that's right. It has to be regular attack stuff. Fine. I'm going to roast this guy. I'm going to roast this guy, too. Overkill. Now we got O4, 5D0, and B4, 6F5. Well, B4, uh, 6F5 does have a pretty nice setup with the um, Terrarium, like we have right now. So we have 6 damage for 3, that'd be 13 damage for 4 as well. Actually, this replaces the 13 damage for 4. Oh my god, is that 20? Heal 16 right there. Whoa. Well, it's going to be B4, 6F5 here. Uh, well, it's a huge improvement on the amount of health that we have. And also, uh, going to be well with Eye of Horus.
Yes, it's a randomly generated character, correct. Okay. Looks pretty good. We have a three mana cantrip. That's nice. Okay. B4 is looking pretty tough here. I guess take the block 4 mana gain. There's that. What's Captain going to pull that's going to be better here? Uh, honestly, a lot of stuff. This is the best damage the house cat can do, so I might as well hit the call with that. I think since the the blue's already saved here, that I'm gonna reroll. Like this is a lot of damage at six, but it's not a kill. And this is gonna go to the back row afterwards. So our kill condition is rolling into the whirl. If we roll into the whirl, we have the best opening start possible. Okay, this is double U, so we just got the three mana contrip. Awesome. Roll it again. All right, that could have been better. We did not. That was been a reason to look for the cleave on the cat uh, to chain with this. Now that I'm looking at it. So what this tells us is the cause going to stay alive this round, unless. We hit first and then use the uh, formation here. Let's check this out real fast. So we use a uh, six damage on the comm and then we're going to use formation, which is two shield everybody, two damage everybody. I do see a downside on this that we're uh, we're losing a lot of block and we're also losing mana gains. So that might not be worth it. It's also extremely likely that we're going to kill the uh, Kaw next round. If we're not going to do this way, we probably should consider uh, waiting. I can even shield 7 for 2 here, which is insane. Okay, let's go ahead and cleave uh, here. And then we're going to double hit with this. We're going to hit with this too. We're going to block here. We're going to cruel it up. Then we're going to go for a... Shield 7 for 2. And a 6 damage for 3. We also could just go shield shield again to completely cure uh, the damage this round. You know what? I'm unopposed to doing this at least to have only 4 damage here. Let's go. All right, Fencer kills Kaw this round, which removes seven damage that saves the Fencer. Uh, we have shield on House Cat with the mana if we need it, so we're going to roll the rest here. I don't know about that. Like, I guess the world's not that much better than that at the moment. That's awesome. Talk about good. Okay, so we can get a big-ass cleave here. The dragon has 14 health remaining, so we're not quite getting a kill here. With that being the case, we'll at least save the kidders. Go here. That's the kill. Roll for fun. Nice. Hmm. 
That was an awesome run for our uh, Choose Party Normal. That's... House Cat was awesome, that run. Take a look at a few unlocks here. Complete raid mode. Choose party on hard or harder okay with four of one color probably go four blue i think four blue would be the funnest choose party on unfair or harder with five plus of one hero color so i guess we could try unfair choose party with uh five blue so i mean that's going to be a ton of mana generation and other stuff Interesting, at least. Five orange could also be awesome. Yeah, agreed. Five green would be an interesting run. Yeah. Five green would be very fun. See the idea in a uh, chat here of going uh, four house cats and into a um, yeah four house cats and then a random class get like a level uh, what would be level ten or twelve hero. Well, interesting idea. All right, we're gonna head into uh, Spelunky two daily right now. I want to play some lunks today. Great time with Slice and Dice. Really enjoyed our runs, including that unfair victory for our opener. That was awesome. I guess Choose Party uh, going all one is also a very good way to get the characters you have not selected yet. Alright, let's get into the mineshaft and then a short intermission and we'll head right into the daily run. Gonna be playing as my man Jay. My dude. Alright, penguin in hand here and then uh, penguin in the hole when we get back. Be back in just a minute for some more fun.
All right, yo, we're back. Thanks so much for your patience during that brief intermission. It is time to kick off the Spelunky 2 Daily. Let's do it. Penguin in the hole. Hold on. Penguin in the hole. Let's warm up right now. Penguin to the moon. You wouldn't, would you, sir? Penguin to the moon. All right, Penguin 180. Turn around. Chair, sit down. Try again. Turn around. Chair, sit down. Last time. Third time's a charm. There we go. Exactly why we have warm up penguin in the hole right there. During that short break, Nates are pretty okay. Thanks for 54 months. Suprock, thanks for 48 as well. Good, Zank. Good to see ya. Here we go. So far, so good. We're going to Turkey Town, everybody. Turkey Town. Turkey Town. Turkey Town. I'm going to look over here because I can. Oh, I see. Literally nothing then? Okay, cool. Me and my lucky rock are out of here. Here's the key. A little tough to access, in fact. Okay, at least our dwelling's not back here. This does simplify. Oh, it is behind the store, though. Yikes. Okay, what's in this store right now? Oh, this is the bottom floor, too. Okay, well, that's that. Gonna buy these two. You know, we do have enough bombs here. We could technically skip if we're going to Volcano, which was my plan. Dun, 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 dun. You know, it's just gonna be two ropes and a bomb. Not nothing, but it's not that much opportunity cost. like having options. Get him, Jay. Get him. Thank God I got this torch and get these cobwebs out of here. Thank God. Thank goodness. Goobness, if you will. Don't be back for some more backpack battles, too. I have too many games I'm loving playing right now. What a terrible problem to have as somebody that plays video games for a living. Just terrible. Gobble, 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 gobble. Listen here, Yang. I really do want to go to Turkey Town. Believe me, I do. But.
Serves you right, mole. I'll put a bomb here. Yeah, there's the other turkey. Okay, we can get back up here. Turkey Town is a go. I repeat, Turkey Town is a go. Yo, Super Rock, thanks for 48 again. And Becca Dora, thanks for 61 months. Thanks for that five plus years. Resubbing on the daily. How fitting. Turkey Tan. Turkey Tan. Turkey Tan. Yo, Turkey Town had frickin' spring shoes in it. Hell yeah. Now you're sprongin'. Also going volcanoes, so. Our burden to making a bunch of money is very low. I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, I heard Percy below there. Uh, okay, so we actually want go the other way first. Yeah, this way first. Don't worry, Poochie. I'll take care of this. Maybe. I know it's scary. Just hang it up here, okay? We've got to be fine. Maybe. Where'd my hamter go? Hamter? Very surprised one of those was not a real dead guy. Or a fake dead guy. Alright, we're doing great on cash right now. Yikes. Listen here, bud. Turkey town. Turkey town. Turkey town. Oh, snap. Oh, no. Oh, get bodied. What's all this free turkey doing? Yeah, it was weird, officer. I just got in here and there was just some... Just a bow and arrow in that shop. Oh, no. Why are my clothes singed? Mind your own business. There we go. Just like it never happened. I wasn't here. Alright, is this the prison area? This is not. Nah, this treasure area. That's good. That'd be very hard to access. Ba -da -dum -bum -bum. Why do I smell like delicious roast turkey at a time like this? Well, mind your own business. What do you care what I eat for lunch? Eating turkey sandwiches is a crime, is it? Yeah, that's right. Eating only turkey sandwiches, also not a crime. Checkmate.
Cheesy rice, man. This is like... This is a configuration, what it is. I think we might not be rescuing Van here, which is perfectly fine. But one, we can kill uh, Vlad with our own bow, and we have some other methods that are open to us as well. Well, okay. I just didn't see the Van area at all. got a plan. Okay, so the turkey uh, disappears behind the lava. Fair. I thought maybe, just maybe, it would knock it into me. Okay, there's a big old pile of lava there. I'm going to use bombs to get down. Even though we have Ujadai, we also have bombs. And, uh, I would say the drill is one of the most random things in Spelunky 2. Well, that wasn't so smart. has to have a maximum to it. God, maybe not. I'm just going to use some bombs. Start. Well, that's a pretty good bomb. <laughs> I'll say start bombing from the left-hand side, but that's, that's even better. I know those chains have a maximum. I don't know what it is exactly. Probably something outrageous like 20 tiles. Well, let's check over here for store. Whoa! Bat right there. Bear. Listen here, lads. Why don't you not Kapala right now? Get out of here. What are you thinking, little Jay? Oh, that was brutal. Brutal and fair. Time for little Jay Vampire Hunter to get to work. I'd like to enlist the help of the sweaty men's here. It's like the Pinkerton Agency, but it's all sweaty men. Just a bunch of sweaty guys, but it's real serious though, okay? Just don't don't mention how they're all sweaty and not wearing shirts. They don't like that. Oh, nice, that released the help. Cool. Later, Tata. Hey, there's yellow cape up there. That's neat. Yo! sweaty guy.
should do it, yeah? And I hate it. Oh, dude, I did not see that bat right there. And that's what happens when you play Spelunky 2. It was all lava on that level. Yo, man, that's fair. That's fair. Alright, we're gonna head into a couple of runs of backpack battles now. We'll just do uh, two or three here. We'll see how see how it goes. Getting the title swapped here, and then I'll get the music started, and we'll uh, head on in. Yo, Brass Cat Malarkey, thanks for 20 months. All right, so uh, in this patch, they just did some um, balance work, changed uh, mostly Berserker and uh, Pyromancer, got some nerfs because they were a little bit uh, ahead of the other classes, not to be surprised for a new class being released, and a few uh, normal changes as well. Yeah, with every update, new builds uh, emerge. All right, music starting here. I'm going to read the patch notes and then we'll go in there. Also a new splash screen, which is nice. All right, let's look for pertinent changes here. Neutral burning joint church had its uh, chance for fire reduce, almost certainly because Pyromancer, even though it's a neutral item, uh, Pyromancer has flames, which uh, work on that. Vampiric Potion, Lifesteal, 8 to 10. Excalibur, Modicost, 12 to 11. All right. Reduced chance for Sapphire. Uh, higher level Sapphires. In store with Gym Box. Okay. Berserker Axe, cooldown is higher now, too. That's still fine. Still very strong, I'm sure. Okay, Ranger Mega Clover sale chance 8% to 6%. Okay, so luck builds are pretty strong right now. Okay. So basically, so a few semi decent nerfs for Pyromancer and Berserker, and a few small buffs for Ranger and Reaper. I didn't feel that any of the. Um, Any of the characters were super underpowered or anything, though Pyromancer definitely seemed to be the standout on release. Okay, so we got new Switch class buttons. That's nice. This is a nice quality of life improvement. Wardrobe's over here now. Nice. Let's do uh let's do a run as Berserker to start today. Here we go. <laughs> I mean opening round hammer banana. All right. And of course you put the banana in here. I'm going to lock the piggy bank. We can get five for it next round. Also, I'm going to lock this. It's just a good cheap add. Although we should perhaps leave every spot open possible for daggers this early. Now, I'm not convinced we're even going to stay on... Uh, 
on Hammer here. Just, just so we got this opening round. Hammers are pretty uh, burly uh, early game weapon, unless it misses a lot, like it's doing right now. Okay, that's five gold. Good two, let's roll it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Tusk. There's a couple things this can make that can be good. I really like Claws of Attack on Berserker. Hammer so devastating in the early game. Holy crap. Three dollar goobert. Guys, it's a goobert for three bucks. So. Alright, so we sell for five. Seems extremely reasonable right now to pick up Jim Box. Uh, Jim Box has some very nice value on this character in particular. You end up getting a lot of things that take gym slots, so more the better. The sooner you get that income going, that's nice too. I'm gonna buy this. Uh... So, like, second banana seems fine too, but I really need the inventory space right now to make goob work. Let's roll here. All right, Topaz is Stamina Regeneration. About as good as Banana as well. Hmm. Gotta be able to do better than that. Let's just pull this out real quick. Not worry about what pieces are in what bag right now. I guess how I'm seeing it is no matter how we do it, we're going to have only two sides of Goober covered. Just with the way the items are laid out. Give you one more try here. Yeah, that's just how it is right now, and that's okay. Alright, so Goober goes in the four square. We also have Shield here, which uh, works with our Tusk. I think we might be selling the Tusk uh, here momentarily. We have not found inventory space on this run, is a <laughs> very fair statement. Dang. Guess we're going to replace this for the gym box, which is a concession for sure. Okay, what's the recipe for egg scalibur? Heroic potion. Okay. I am certainly looking to get out of.
this soon here. This is a pretty big improvement, though. Okay, let's sell the tusk. Let's buy the blueberry. We got three sides of goober covered. Nice. Let's go. A few ways for their bag to be improved, but who am I to judge? Alright, dragon scale armor this early is great, but again... How am I going to fit this stuff in here? Brutal. sell the herbs, I'm going to buy the armor, and then I'm going to put the hammer here. We have at least access all four sides of goobs. I'm going to put the topaz here for stamina generation, so we're losing the banana as well. Am I willing to do this this round and not get a value out of the gem box? I think there's really no choice. This is, has to be what we do. I'm not going to drop the gem box, that's for certain. What a weird bag. Double, double shovel. They're going to Value Town with that. Okay. So, uh... Dagger is the continuation of Hammer, because every time it stuns, you get an extra attack on the dagger. But we're now down to 45% common chance, so it's increasingly difficult for us to find um, daggers every round. So we're going to get out of Hammer now, and we're going to buy Axe, which is awesome. We also now have Dragon Scale Armor, Battle Rage Enter, gain 40 armor. Oh, I feel like the uh, background for that is different. Maybe not. $2 gloves is definitely adequate here, too. Worst case scenario, we can just sell them back. I'm going to roll again after buying this rock. Holy armor. I can technically make sun armor with this... If I go Anvil on this run, which is not looking unlikely. Really, really liking picking up a second on-sale gym box here, too. I think right now the Holy Armor is a little bit out of reach. I mean, Cheese Goobert, on the other hand... Not out of reach. Cheese goobs. Now you're goobing with cheese. Right now, I'm considering how do I fit in 
Second gym box. I guess I'd have to do it this way, which is a uh, concession for sure, because we're losing value on several items. But I, I feel like it feels as if this build is far enough ahead right now that taking this is okay. Like we have, we still have a good build. Just having the armor for the uh, battle rage uh, damage reduction is massive. We also have double topaz axe already, and the axe gains damage with each swing. I'm hopeful. Okay. Got Amethyst, which goes directly into armor right now. We have Cheese Goobert. We have 0.7 stamina? Jeez. Okay, cheese Goob's getting made. Ruby is one of the better gems, but I kind of want to sell it right now. Nah, we're not going to sell. We're going to craft the uh, gloves next with the hammer. And to that point, we are going to sell Ruby to buy this bag space. Don't want to maintain value here. There's another way to do this. Or we turn these on this side. And we put the hammer or the thing here. We put the hammer here for the 20%. Now we're cooking. Yeah, chain whip is a consideration in this build, sure. A close one here, I think. All right, we have all of Battle Rage. I think we're going to be okay. Oh my god. One hundred percent chance to inflict two poison. Actually, you know, that's um all right. Not as cool as you might think. I'm liking Vampiric Gloves here, too. Those cheese good. Five item activations gain 15 maximum health and two random buffs. Yeah. Our rare chance is 35%. Well, I think I'm going to let the Vampiric Gloves slide on by and roll here. Should have removed the gem boxes from the inventory. As an aside. Go for poison resist. Cap of discomfort is not untempting, but I believe our best play here is otherwise. Is this after six seconds, every eight seconds? Just getting these made this round.
They have better weapons. We had better sustain. Oh my god, blacksmith is on sale here too? Alright. Item crafted generated a flame, which can also be sold for one. For each star crafted item, the uh, diamond weapon gains plus two damage and uses 3% less stamina. And I was considering some other stuff too, but on sale. Okay, it is time to redo our very tiny bag right now. Okay, the axe is not crafted, but the axe does need to be in the weapon slot. That's that's fair. Okay. It begins. Bless you. Okay, we're going to craft an item right here, and that'll fill another spot on the anvil. This build has a little bit of the jank. Okay, we have both of our, or all three of our crafted items inside of the uh, thing here. Uh, we're going to buy these gloves for certain. I also believe I'm buying this cheese. Okay. More inventory space definitely doesn't hurt. In fact, let's just plug in a cheese right here for the moment. I think we're going to be reconfiguring the bag before we're all said and done here, but, um... Looks good. So what I'd like here is I'd like to get the gloves being made to dragon gloves. Cheese Goob looks so happy because he's completely full of cheese. It's a simple answer. He's been gobbing it up all day. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're off to a start here. So let's put the gloves here now. Hitting the axe, and then I like the other gloves over there too. So what am I going to be getting for... Goob bonuses. I guess Goob doesn't have to be totally ballin' in this bag. He just has to be there accepting some kind of bonuses. It's hard to build around maximizing Goob and maximizing Anvil. It's a very awkward thing. He's here for now. onto something here. Even if the gloves don't have a good second side here, this is still fine.
Let's speed up cheese. Well, I suppose here the thing to leave out would be... Um, one of the gym boxes. Also, we're getting at least one combination here. Dragon Gloves do not have a slot. All right. I would just where we're at, there's, there's like an argument to do this. Uh, put the gym box in. There's even an argument to do this and get the double craft next round for plus two bucks since we're on five tries. I don't know. Leaving those class items out of the build is um, suspect. Okay, this is the spot for the gloves if we had them in here. I think it's a pretty fair uh, concession to make. Is there any way for me to get this made this turn? Yeah. I like that. I prefer the topazes in the bag, but it's not. Heroic Potion is also interesting. Uh, we can have this be a crafted item for the anvil by using the banana, and it plays into running out of stamina, which is kind of what we're trying to do here. I'm going to not lock that, though, because we don't have the other part of our uh, axe. Oh yeah, they resurrect. Ouch. Be a close one here. Yeah. Ooh. That's free money, man. All right, these gems can be used as crafted items for the anvil. I'm going to remove the gym box before we roll here. By God's double cheese goober, what's going on right now? Double cheese goob? Is that where the run's going? I am unopposed to the idea of double cheese goob. Maybe we like convert weapons here after this too. Uh, cheese Goob, uh, five item activations gain 15 maximum health and two random buffs. We do have the issue that we are uh, severely lacking activators for Goob. Ah, oh, what the hell, let's go for it. Thank you. Oh, six dollar shield is the exact kind of item we need here to... Uh, uh, fix this up. I can even go Sun Shield here, can't I? Maybe? Yeah. Okay. It's just got very interesting. Now you're goobing with goobs. I guess in this case, we're going to have goobs activating goobs. This is how it's going to be. I feel like we're in a not unreasonable position to sell one of the gym boxes, but <laughs> oh man. Like the gym boxes are making so much potential value for the rest of the run. We're severely limited on uh, inventory space at this moment. All right, I got an idea for configuration. I don't know if it works or not. Let's find out. 
Okay, so we put the anvil inside of a four square. Let's put in a three square, actually. Put the anvil inside of a three square. And then we take the axe and we stand it up like this. So we're gonna use, I'm gonna use these two. And then on each side of this, we place one quality goobert. So yeah, they are missing one side, but we're going to have to give up something without question to make this work. If we go double goob, which it appears we are. Yeah, not having the axe inside the um, berserker bag is weird. this here for right now. Okay. Back was from... What game is this from? Well, it's gone now. Crusader Kings, that sounds about right. I think it's like this. Gotta be that. Okay, hey, Cheese Goobs is the more important goobs here. To activate. Well, I really want the gloves pointed at the axe. It's the only thing that actually makes sense here. One thing I could do is I could make Cheese Goobert on this round and then keep the double glove like this. I think this is going to be the best compromise we're going to get on this round. Not untempting just to keep... Keep regular Goobert then make him we have more inventory space. Okay, here we go. We can craft this this round and put a crafted item next to us. So we now have a five-star anvil. Okay, I accept. So weird having cheese goob in the inventory, but I believe in this strategy. Let's do one reroll here. Yeah, okay, that's big too. That's arguably better than the shield, but the shield can also activate Goober. Dang. Dang. I'm going to lock them both, and a bunch of inventory space is totally going to appear for sure. Oh yeah, I've seen this build a lot. The old uh, Snake Scythe Goobert. That's the one. Probably lose to this build. A little fast on damage. Especially since we have not created double axe yet. Okay, definitely inventory space. Let's remove these from the inventory as well. I don't know, I can just add a hangy blade in here. I don't think this is a bad idea. Like, we're, we only had one axe, so we're gonna have to make a conversion here at some point. They're on sale. I 
think the way I want to do this, I want to have my cheese goober stack too high. Like this, and then move this up one. No, down one. And then what I really want is shield on this side of the Guberts, but I can't roll that right now. What I can get is the uh, the hangy blade on the other side like this. Frimby. Honestly, this isn't bad with the uh, the flames either. Making sun armor, sun shield on a berserker build. It's interesting. What I really need is inventory space. I'm going to roll one more here. Okay. I accept. I mean, definitely doing good on uh, getting bonuses on crafted items. There's also this configuration. This pot to my head looks pretty cool. We turn this upside down. Uh, we do lose one star there, but then we can put the hangy blade here. So we're getting our weapons contained on one side of the hangy blade. Yo, rabbit salvo cow. Thanks so much for that uh, gift. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh my god, there's my other axe. I need to make this. Okay, well that simplifies this turn a lot. We sell a uh, hangy blade. And two flames. Put a ruby here, put amethyst here. I'm actually going to combine these to make more money this round. Yeah, weirdly enough, there's not really a better way to activate Goobert on this. Like, we can do this right here, which is what I'm going to do. Get ourselves the max stamina. Okay, we're going to work on making Sun Shield next round. I don't think I want a third pair of gloves here. Weird bag, man. Oh, sorry about that. Wow, we kept up amazingly on stamina there. All right, we got a big old egg. Dang. Ooh, Wolpertinger next to double cheese goob. That's a thing. Now you're goobing with goobs, you goob. Way to goob it up. Alright, so... Stamina is 1.1. The goal here is to get as much action on the double axe as possible for speed. That's definitely that.
Fitting in two goobs with Anvil is such a brutal um, <laughs> combination. Okay, let's remove the gem boxes from the bag. Let's purchase the shield, because I'm sure this is happening. And then, can we combine here? Oh, yes we can. Yes we can. All right. Let's say my dream of the Wolpertinger next to the goop just died on this one. Okay, I gotta have this. One more. Here we go. Gems are just so valuable right now. I don't want to give them up. Just say that goes there for right now. I don't know what I'm supposed to sell here. I could just not sell anything and wait till next round. I mean, that's not that's not crazy. Let me just combine these rubies inside the axe. Looks pretty acceptable. We could view this uh, this holding of this item as kind of uh, utilizing the value we've created with flames already. So we're not like technically behind having this in the storage. It's okay. Here we go. Ooh, Fire Staff is a very potent weapon. Ooh, land. Now we're going survival here. This is a very uh, weird and awesome bag. I want to see more. we put Goobert like this. Interesting is what it is. So Sun Shield is incredible to be able to make here because Sun Shield blocks any damage source. Also, if we get it next to a block item, even better. I really don't know how that happens right now, though. Let's, uh, let's just do a roll here. Uh, the justification here, Sea Fisher, is that we're utilizing the bonus on crafting here, and combining gems is generally not as good as having gems be separate. But the big one for this bag is the uh, the increase there. Okay, there's got to be a way to do this, though. How do I free up a two slot here? is tricky. OK, 
Okay, another gem we can combine here. Topaz in the axe. You know, here's the thing, though, game. I need um, inventory space. Thank you. All right, so the addition of this inventory space technically takes us to uh, enough spaces for getting both gym boxes back in the bag, but um, very difficult to see. Also, another dragon scale armor is about as good as it gets as far as increasing our defense. What I kind of want to do is like this. I think the one side being ungoob double axe is just nicer. flames here. If I were to sell something, two things to get this fanny pack, what would it be? What would it be? Also, this looks much nicer. Get the banana in here. And we definitely prefer this. Here it is. Okay, I think spike color battle rage lasting two seconds longer is probably more important than one of these synergies. Let's put this sapphire on the axe and we'll put this here for this round only. Now the question becomes... Do we... make the second dragon scale armor? I think yes, but it's becoming an issue of space for sure. I don't see this being wrong, though. Also, stamina potions starting to look pretty valuable with the amount of attack speed we're starting to build up with empowerment and things. Boy, that's a toughie. What'd you get next round? We're getting 14 next round, and then 15, 16, 17. I guess that does allow us to afford everything. Seems like a natural continuation. A lot of blind on us right now, it's tough. Chunk dunk it. Okay, so we were getting a little bit low on stamina there, that's fair. Okay, so now we have Sun Shield. Sun Shield also reads. Star items gain 12 block, deal 4 damage. These gain 40. So we do 12 damage with the activation of the dragon scale armor if the shield is next to the armor. Mm. Okay, definitely buying this. Definitely buying this. And with additional um, gems showing here, I'm considering maybe not buying the heroic potion. Just getting this heroic potion, can, or getting the banana space free, though, is probably our way to make the dragon scale armor. Let's do this by selling a flame. I'm also going to trade this for a chip topaz. Move this back down here.
Need to see inventory space here. There's some. Not a bad ruby, either. Yeah, I think increased time here is more important. Also, I should just combine this gym. Nothing wrong with it. Will generate more cash value for us. Okay, so in order to access this, it has to be a gym. We do have like this. That is quite good. We can even still combine this round if we want to. be best if this was here. All right. I got to have the space to add the other gyms in, so I guess we can drop the uh, we'll drop this. And next turn, we'll be crafting the leather armor into dragon scale one way or another. I guess this can technically activate, so might as well. All right, here we go. Country, I think, Esprit, that's the one. Yo, Johnson Yuta, thanks for 123 months. Thank you, dude. Yeah, this build's pretty nasty. I'm surprised we beat that. Thanks, Cheese Goob. Way to gob him right up for us. Oh, man. Uh, putting this in the axe essentially says that armor doesn't exist for the enemy. That seems <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. tough. I definitely think I want that. I guess I can just sell two and buy it now, but then we're not going to be able to afford the... With five rounds left to survive here, and the amount of stuff we have going on, uh, it could just consider um, dropping one of the gym boxes now. Doesn't seem uh, bad in any way. Also, if this gem and this gem are in the axe, it's a 100% chance to negate armor. So, with how many builds use armor is a defensive thing. I think that has to be done. Should be done for sure. Okay, I can possibly get one more... fanny pack in here.
Hmm. Opponent's healing reduced by 20% or 3% less stamina plus 2 damage. I think the healing's more important at the moment. Yeah, I could put potion here. That's a fair one. Alright, can I get this made this round? I don't know about that. I sell this and this. It is plus four. So we're looking at selling one gem. Perhaps I sell off the chipped amethyst. Keep this bonus active and then put armor on this side. Yeah, you could also argue that if we're gonna be adding armor, is it really worth having the second cheese goop in here? I think the answer is yes, but uh, worth considering that maybe the answer is no. I would additionally love to have the armors near the uh, the shields. They'll do damage when the battle rage procs. Right this moment, that is an improvement. Even if we go like this. I see. If I can get this on its side, I can get the armor side by side there. Okay. Well. I feel like we've essentially reached critical mass on the gems. I'm going to sell off both gem boxes here to buy this. It's time. We have to go out of this at some point. Why not right now? Okay, for right now, we'll do it the other way. There we go. Cheese Goob is Cheese and Goobert. It gives you 15 maximum health and two random buffs each time it procs. Would be very cool to have something that could actually hit in here, but uh, we're not there right now. Keep an eye out for a blueberry or whatnot. Also, 90% still pretty high, so we'll get the other item activation. Cool. Go. Your armor means nothing. Alright, we got four rounds left. What am I really looking to do with four rounds? I guess buying a half off gym bag isn't uh, the worst idea. Another collar, definitely good. Inventory space, oh yeah. Well, all right, I'm going to lock cheese here and I see a play for next round. Uh, admittedly, flute is quite good here, too, with all the singles on the board. I like flute earlier rather than later, though. So this guy's main defense is Cheese Goob, and I'm hitting directly into health almost always, so we might have a chance here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, here's my idea. We're gonna lose 10% on the double axe with this. But in doing so, we can free up an entire row to shift this over. It means that this is possible. 
And then we can have cheese on the cheese goobs. Now you're goobing with cheese. right now yeah gloves are supposed to go here I'm trying to figure out where I can fit in a uh, third dragon scale armor right now it's difficult This would be the spot right now. Okay, we're losing uh, just a little bit of value there and that's all right i'm gonna sell out the gem box again we're like so flush for gems right now i'll take this for less healing for our opponent Let's go here. At least we get a little bit better value with that. All right. Not not bad. We only lost one star there, and we got the uh, potion and the double potion belt. We're making a third scale armor. Double Scythe. I think we're going to get hammered with poison here. Well, they are generating armor as their defense, and we're doing 100% chance to hit health. Might be okay here. Yeah. Bypassing armor won us that one. 435 non-existent armor. Later, Tater. I mean, I love a good burb, but there's only three open spots in the inventory, period. Uh, another potion sounds really good. Let's buy that for now. Another potion belt? Okay, we can fit potion belt here. Also, blueberry in the house. That's great for uh, goob. We had this config before where there's an empty spy here, and I could put Blueberry there. Uh, I believe this gets sold now as well. Nowhere to put it. Blueberry here. Let's roll one more. Okay, I mean, herbs are not nothing. It does activate at the start of combat, so I'm going to choose to buy that, and then we'll uh, go another round here. Oh, you're making lots of armor and invincibility. So the premise of their build is very good. They build up armor and then... Uh, stall out with mana. Unfortunately for them, um, we don't care about armor.
What does this do? Opponent below 30% health, deal 50% damage, 7 debuffs inflicted, gain 6. Every 5.5 seconds, inflict fatigue. I'm going to take this simply to put in this spot right here. It's a faster activator. Okay, that's space. We are getting empowerment, so I think having the forging hammer there is fine. Oh, we filled up every space of inventory, so I don't know what we're going to find here that I'd possibly replace. Nothing, I think. Another blueberry, perhaps. All right, looking good. Nah, hammer's still quite good here because we're getting um, random buffs from Goobert. It's not nothing. That's the one right there. Big bada boom. Cool build. I really think the carry here was double cheese goob. I mean, we know we know Axe and the Sapphire was good, but double cheese goob allowed us to survive long enough to uh, escalate. Uh, let's do a ranger run next. Well, I know how to buy things. You do it like this. That's fine. Eh, I might even go torch here. Man, this all looks pretty good, actually. Getting into um, second banana triple weapon this early. Although reserving four items is way too many items right now. You know, I'm going to sell the shield back, which is on sale anyways. And we're going to buy the... Um, the bow here. Next turn, we'll make Tusk Poker here. Uh, unreserve this. Second banana, though, I want. These two. Survive because I had a banana. Classic. Uh, Lucky Pig right now is legit because that sets this up. Million dollar question, though. Do I make torch or do I just go for banana here? I see. I think pretty much no matter how we do this, it's there it is. Going for Torch? I think I'm going to unreserve this. Like we're, we're turning into something else. I'm actually going to lock the garlic too. Having a double uh, banana garlic situation in the early game is uh, pretty good. Just like he has here. I might win this because of thorns. That'd be the main reason. Yep. 
Oh, hells yes. Okay, want, want. Okay, garlic, yes. Blueberry, do I care? I gotta say, one blueberry in the build. Uh, it's not gonna hurt anything. Okay, so we got the bonus uh, star on the garlic here as well. Blueberry's a little bit odd man out, and that's all right. I'd much rather have the star on the pig on both than the food synergy here. With a little more space, it becomes easier to combine those sides. Other option should be to drop the uh, wooden sword out of the ranger bag here. Ah. It was uh, Vlad's theme from Spelunky 2, Adlord. Yeah, I think we're winning here. Indeed. Alright, this is not the stuff we need right now. There's some stuff we need. Oh man, getting double bow on the Piggly Wiggly. That's gonna be nice. For 1.5 right now, I'm going to sell the wooden sword here. And get a uh, piggy. With this, we can also slide everything down one. And get a... Uh, blueberry working now. surviving right now. Okay. Now we have Piggy hitting on both of the bows. We got a really high chance to be uh, gaining thorns with these hits. Banana. On sale hammer to crack double picky bank is uh it's an idea. I think I like the crit chance here. They also like um gloves.
I think I'm gonna drop this down here for one less food synergy and uh, double up on my Piggly Wigglies. All right, how are we gonna work this right now? Like this. Wiggle in my piggle. Here we go. Thorns are generally good versus torch builds. We'll see if uh, our thorns scale faster than their damage. Looking like it's not going to, because they have Goobert, of course. Well, considering we have three pigs in the bag, uh, I can't be surprised by that. Okay, let's sell a pig for carrot here. Buy fanny pack, one dollar garlic. We're at point A stamina right now. This is kind of perfect. Then we don't have uh, vampirism gain right now, but if we get bloodthorn, we have the setup for bloodthorn. I don't know. It might be worth a roll instead. Honestly, a tough call. Let's roll. It's Goobert. Probably selling piggy bank and a garlic to fit Goobert here. All right, short break for me. He's going to stand a stretch real fast. Thanks for your patience during this brief intermission. If the ads play, uh, it does support a lot. I appreciate it. If not, totally understand this. Thanks for the time you're choosing to spend here. Of course, no ads for subs or prime users in perpetuity. Be back soon. I think we're buying goob when we get back.
Alrighty, I have returned. I think our bag is pretty good right now. So, let's pull this stuff out. We can drop garlic for goob. We can drop a pig for goob. So we can do garlic, pig, glove, uh, maybe even carrot. I think how our weapons were set up is as good as it's going to get for the bag and the pig. So can goob function in a bag like this? I mean, I think the answer is yes if we go here and here. Okay, one side of goob is configured. Okay, pig here, ring here, banana, blueberry, Okay, well, they're both inside the bag still here. Move this back. This is looking more promising. The downside is still that this ring does not get uh, double action. That's okay. We're going to keep that in mind. I mean, I think for me, this might be it. Also, at low stamina usage, maybe getting the gloves on one of the... One of the items is good. Get triple food synergy on that, too. Okay, we're under one stamina, so the second banana, while it's providing healing, is not really helping. I like this bag. I think we're getting out of Acorn Ring, but I'm going to hold on to it for now. Alright, so their build does not... Um hit me at all, so they're not hitting our thorns. They're actually kind of a counter to my build. I think we're still a bit faster. A 21 thorns there with one health remaining. So lucky. Yes. Yes. Okay, not a ring. Ooh. Okay. On sale bird? Now you're speaking my language. Got a very compact bag right now, too, so if we can set this upright. Is hitting pretty much every item of value in the bag. I'm kind of liking Mono Orb here. Uh, how much does this sell for? Three? Okay. Also kind of liking as an additional blueberry because it becomes uh, another food activator. Which is kind of where this build is headed. We pick our subclass next round. That'll definitely provide some clarity. I'm gonna drop a garlic for a piggy here. Uh, it's income, and we haven't lost one. We only lost one so far in the very early game. Well, this is where the build's at. Let's go.
In this case, buckle zero, we need the pig uh, pointed at both of the bows to maximize the thorns. But your idea is good. They're going to win out with steel goop here. Steel goop makes so much armor. Good job. I don't think we were winning that one, no matter how we configured the bag. All right, so there's two ideas here. We can either go Beastmaster and hope to get into more of a pet-centric build, which is definitely tempting, because I already have purchased one legendary pet. Uh, the other way to go would be Poison Ivy, which does uh, poison for every thorns we produce, which is pretty quick, since we got double thorn bow with the pig pointed at it. Potentially even double pig here in a little bit. Yeah, that bag we just faced was slamming. I'm going to go for the uh, the ivy here. I think it's the closest thing to a synergy we have available right now. And carrot goop sounds aight. Freeze up space. That's nice. Pineapple is so good with the ivy. Oh, man. I'm going to say Piggy's out of here. We're in dreadfully low on space right now. Wow, that's really good leaf there, man. Just plopped right in there like it was nothing. Just a casual seven-star leaf. No bigs. All right, if this all comes down one, now let's bring the bird down first. Okay, this is going to diminish the leaf if I take this route. Put this back down here then. Definitely not untempting to get this egg this round. Our legendary chance here is 15. Now the song is Kingdom of Bermatia by uh, Nobu Umetsu. Final Fantasy IX soundtrack. Oh, excuse me. And hailing cat here over here. Believe that. I think I'm selling acorn ring and banana here to pick up the dragon egg. Now, <laughs> with that. Where am I going to put the dragon egg? I like this configuration. Everything here is working. The only thing that could maybe change to free up a space would be this. Let's uh, streamline this side by making it the same amount of uh, you know spaces and getting access to this triple. Okay. Is this nature? No, it's fire, though. All right, the bit of trickiness here is we do need to combine into Carrot Goob this round, so we can probably just say we're not going to get the best stars here. We can have a very good bird. Okay, Acorn rings out. Bananas out, or Gloves of Haste are out. How far we're leaned into food right now? I'm actually going to drop the gloves here. Okay. Okay. 
All right. We got three sources of Thorns generation. I can get one more star on this leaf, I think. Go like this. Oh, that's all very comparable. There it is. Okay, let's make this the carrot so Goob still gets made. Now you're goobing it up. Get them, goobs. Like, if we win any of the next three rounds, I'm going to be quite pleased. We just beat triple goob. That bag was definitely goobing it up. Well goobed, goober. Okay, uh, Goob also counts as a nature item, which is awesome. Perfect fit. I didn't see any uh, nerfs to goob, but I'm sure it's still great. I kind of want to buy the bow and hope for another tusk. If I can get a third uh, thorns bow with the with the ivy, we have pretty significant poison generation. Not unamused by the idea of adding another goob in either. There's nothing wrong with that. With the egg about to hatch and the reconfiguring of the bag needing to happen, I think buying another goob is, um, it's a stretch. Wolpertinger, on the other hand, hmm, maybe. The same speed. Let's uh let it let it ride here. Oh yeah, definitely still very good, Dukowski. Yeah. I think that one of the reasons the goob is such a hard carry is that the better you optimize your bag, the better goob is. The fact. Wow. Okay, but what if we just had another four square and we just dropped another bird down in here like it was no big deal? There's Tusk as well to make this, so yes. What I'd like right now is like three, four square bags. <sighs> There's also definitely a way to configure this so that all four of our weapons are inside of the uh, Ranger bag.
I feel like if I get the dragon over by the bag here, I can afford to take these two without a combination this round. Or maybe I drop double garlic or something to work uh, another bird in. All right, let's get way too much stuff here. And then let's roll the store once. Okay, there's inventory space. Accuracy is 85 right now, so this has some good value too. I am not going to find five value in the bag this turn to get the, the potion belt. Okay. We're going to redo the entire bag. We're going to send Goobert, King of Trash Mountain, to the very top of the, the pile. May look like a pile of trash to you, but don't worry. It's just treasures to Goobert. That's why he looks so happy. He's got so many treasures. Okay, to fit everything in here, for starters, we do this. And then Lucky Pig goes here. And this goes here. We have set up like this. Okay. All four of the weapons are inside of the bag. As a easy way to gain these spaces back, I'm going to put the potion belt here. Okay. Also, for now, at least, I'm going to do this. Okay, next step is Goobert. So Goobert looks like he belongs right here, with probably a blueberry in this spot. Let's, uh, let's put this whole setup in the bottom right. That's going to put Bird here. And Bird here. Okay, so far hitting everything. Okay, there's a cooler way to do this. All right, for now, this definitely works. Another option here with medium stamina, 1.2 with two. The birds hitting the bananas, but not all of the bows. Let's do this instead. And we'll stick leaf over here for right now. It's a crappy leaf, but good enough for the moment. Leaf providing a bonus on the thorns is the important part here. So important, in fact, we will get the double bird on the pineapple like this. Okay. Double Mana Torch. That's pretty brutal, man. Wow, I can't believe we just outpaced Double Mana Torch. Sick. Alright, now we have another source of thorns here. Definitely buying this and this. Roll. 
Damn. I mean, acorn uh, collar is not untempting right here. Or even uh, taking this one out of the pack to get it on all three will be pretty strong. It's definitely the least important weapon with the current configuration because of the way the birds are amplifying. I think what we really need to do here is buy the potion belt and just reconfigure again. Uh, I feel like the leaf and the birds are being underutilized in the current setup. Do a roll so we can have a little little dream about next round. Brown is not unrealistic here. It's very fast. It cleanses blind and it uses mana, which we may or may not reach. We're one blueberry away from 10 mana pretty consistently. If it wasn't on sale, that'd be a lot more uh, sketchy. But luckily for us, it is on sale. Okay, maybe reconfigure here is a little extreme. I think we can get a good leaf here with a good uh, pineapple too. It's quite good. <laughs> okay. Definitely feels like eight star leaf is possible, but we can get a pretty good seven star here, which I think I'm going to go for. Even just swapping the, the bow here or dropping this back down gives us another star on the leaf. Okay. There's eight star leaf. All right, uh, there's some issues with this, uh, mainly that we're at uh, more than medium stamina and neither of the bananas are being a hit in this configuration. Let's work on that a little bit. That's gonna be more important than having eight star leaf to say the least. So what if we move this up one so we can go like this? I'll say just full reconfigure is going to be easier here. Let's go for that. I just keep, I keep like fussing with thinking about where the birds are going to be pointing and it ain't quite there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reserve these bird spots. Actually, we'll make it the uh, fanny packs. Okay, ranger bag. Ideally, we would like to get all four weapons inside the ranger bag, but I'm definitely okay with only three happening here.
Do I have any other lucky pig targets? I do. Okay, I can point the lucky pig at the leaf. That might be a lot better because we have an even a uh, higher chance to resist resist debuffs. I don't know if I had to guess though. Fifty percent on two different bows should be really good. Alright, then that absolutely puts Goobert right here. I've got a baby kitty, his name's S'more, and he's out of control. Out of control. I don't know, now I'm thinking like the birds down here isn't sound like not the worst. I think minor food over here, one bird here, and then one bird uh, on this side or towards the bottom is what I'm going to go for. Like Down here looks really good. I would utilize the food synergy if I put it up here too. Let's play with this. Looks like banana garlic to me. Touching the other bird would be the key component. That's the one. Okay, it's hitting all four weapons, bird and banana. I accept. That's also both uh, both birds. I forgot where Ivy's fitting in here. Oh yeah. Okay, we got. Six star leaf, which is definitely acceptable. We have birds pointed at multiple bananas, and we have one bird pointed at the other bird, which I think is very important. I think the setup looks awesome. We have the space for crown next round two. That was a fun reconfiguration. I enjoyed that one. We're honking a little bit here. We're out of stamina. Even though they cleared all of our debuffs, we still did a good job. But we learned we would like to have a little bit more stamina than we do. Just a smidge. Right, crown for sure. And holy spear here too. That's wild. This is definitely not the worst dragon egg I've ever seen. Feels like we're nearly far enough ahead to pull that off.
slow down with that, bud. Crown is one of the best goob activators, period. Looking at it, I just know this bag could be managed a little better. Sometimes you can just tell. Okay. Add uh, this over here. Basically maximizing our food synergy. So I'll be curious to see how our stamina consumption looks on this attempt. I'm going to pass up the egg. It's, it's a temptation for sure, but it's all good. Okay, Jin Lamp, gain one luck, one thorns, or one mana, depending on what you had the least of. This is just going to be luck generation for us after the blueberry goes off. This is cool. Not going to be using the secondary effect on it, but it's on sale. It fits exactly where we need it to go. Cool. Probably worth doing this. Get double bird on it. quick for us there. Fair enough. Double axe is a hell of a weapon. I don't disagree. Ooh, another pineapple here is uh, pretty good, man. I don't think now we need clovers because we have the gen lamp making, making the luck almost always. There's definitely room for a Wolpertinger reconfigure here with uh, that going in between the birds and goob. I think this is actually insanely good right now. You know, it's worth dropping Jin Lamp for, which we got on sale. Like, look at this. Plug and play, triple synergy, and increases base stamina regeneration. So it's going to outperform the banana uh, by itself. Wolpertinger. All right, with that being the case, let's go ahead and sell banana. And we'll drop this clover over here to get up to seven star leaf. Increase base stamina generation by 0.7 for each buff you have. Every five seconds, gain three of the buff you have the least of. Do I care about carrots? Uh, can't give empowerment. That's not nothing. I want that slide on by. Okay. okay. I'm gonna take this one to survival. I don't think it's really survival worthy, but it's an interesting build. That's good enough for me. Okay, definitely. Great job, Daisy. Great job. What a good kidders we got. Okay, second mana is actually exceptional at this moment. It gives us more food synergy, and more importantly, it gives us a second source of mana, so we actually have a chance of reaching the crowns and vulnerability period. Oh, 
Who? I mean, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I, mean, I definitely doesn't look bad. What happens if we move these up so they're the Goobert activators? We're losing uh, the hits on the bananas, which is a problem. About right here. Okay, then we're getting quadruple Volpertinger synergy. We're losing a side of Goobert activation, which is kind of unacceptable. I see an easy fix to this problem. Be best if the bird activated faster. <laughs> All right. Now you're thinking with Volpertingers. Well, Volpertung. Alright, well that worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Uh, we diminished our leaf a little bit. Okay, at least all three birds are on three of the four weapons. I think I'm happy enough with that. Okay, we got six star here, not bad. What about this? Okay. Blueberry should be here. It's not the cleanest looking food synergy, but... Oh, maybe not. Is that it? I do declare that is it. Not bad. Not bad. Keep an eye on our stamina on this one. Ooh, what a build. Yeah, we got through all that armor. Yay! The randomized buffs on Wolper Taker is so good. Oh my god. On hit, inflict three chili. Weapon hits, inflict one chili. Okay. Well. Move Lucky Pig out of the equation for a moment because this right here is an immense value for generous, like slowing our opponent down. Okay, we sacrifice one star there, which is 5%, but we gain 15% of extra chance to resist debuffs. I believe is. I don't think this one's additive. I'm not sure, though. Okay. There's nothing wrong with going for another food here. Even another clover for accuracy to start isn't bad.
Yeah, the st the artifact stone coal is much better than the heat one uh, in general because the uh, the heat one uh, it increases weapon damage once you reach a certain amount of heat. So that's great for pyromancer. But this one, after even after the on throw effect, you're still getting um, chili on each of the bones. So every 1.7 seconds, if we hit, we inflict a two percent slow, which stacks up onto the opponent. Bag is definitely fine too, but fitting the bag in with the weapons as well is going to be a uh, extremely difficult prospect. Yoinks, but doinks. Cool build, man. Yeah, this is uh, this is kind of a meta build right now, and they had Tim. Oh man. Oh man. Ooh, this does gain mana. I think we want this for crown activation. Where can I put this bad boy? Right in here is pretty sick. Got lots of places I can put this. Alright, quite important that the... Pineapple's back in here. Blueberry goes here now, maybe? How about this? That looks fine. Hmm. Okay, we're on two bows. We have six star leaf. Got a pretty decent fanfare, which can give us empowerment. A steel mod can get us this invulnerability period, which would be huge. That's where we're at. Get them, goobs. Yeah, double axe is tough for Ranger. Oh, we got our invulnerability here. <laughs> Not long enough. Two seconds versus the battle rage is a, a tough one. Crown and Wolpertinger. Wow. Now we did reach one um, invulnerability period there, but another one seems unlikely. I'm going to take another Wolpertinger here because randomized buffs are awesome. And then we're just going to move this bird up and drop the Wolpertinger right next there. So we do get less speed up synergies on the bird, but we're getting a really massive improvement on the Wolpertinger. Yeah, I kind of need this in there. I think the fanfare is actually out now. Cool bag, man. Yo, Glacier Frost, sorry for missing you earlier. Thanks for that 40 months. Prime continuation and Spy Remo, thanks so much for 25 months as well. Cheers. Oh, it's chilly in here, dang. Nice bag, man. Well, as I predicted, I didn't feel like this one was uh, really... really ready for survival mode. I wanted to try anyways. We did. Alright, now we're cooking. 
How am I going to weasel uh, another burden here? Like so. That is one beefed up Vulpertinger, man. I'll take a carrot, maybe? Here? Alright. You know, I'm actually going to drop Stam Potion here. Let's go. More double axe, all right then. Yeah, but my build has more critters, okay? So who's the real winner here? Nice. Hey, awesome, plus 12, so we hit the midpoint. Uh, we would've gotten plus eight if we took the win, plus 16 if we sweeped. Plus 12's pretty all right. Well, hey, everybody, that's going to conclude our Saturday show. It was awesome. I had a great time with Slice and Dice, Spelunky 2, and Backpack Battles. A cool new patch, a lot of cool little quality of life things, a few balance changes, too. I'll definitely be back at it again uh, tomorrow for our Sunday thing. Until then, keep it dapper and be good to each other. See you on the uh, afternoon tomorrow. I'm signing off here, Ogus11. Thanks for that Tier 2 96 months. Appreciate that. All right, catch you all tomorrow. Looking forward to it already. Uh, until next time, keep it dapper and be good to each other. That's all I got for today. Brag out.